I think yes, maybe some. Okay, it's recorded yes. already. You can uh, can you please I uh, know start from the <laughs> you know. Okay, sure, sure, yes. So yes, good evening, guys. Yeah, welcome to join the training from us. I'm the trainer Tansy from Big Seller. Nice to meet you all. And actually, today. For today's class, I will introduce the main feature in Big Seller and also some other tools which are beneficial on your business. And our Big, our big Seller is a one-stop e-commerce solution for multi-channel selling. We have many features that can help you to make your online selling more efficient, including order processing, inventory management, and also the product management, and some other tools like auto-reply, and also the profit analysis, accounting software, payment reconciliation, and the scan to send image. Some other tools can help you to get more traffic, to leave a good, leave a good impression on your customers so as to make your business better and, and can improve in a more better, uh, faster way. Okay, so go back to our main topics today. Yes, for today's our class, uh, actually I have two parts. The first part is for our main functions. Yes, we will do a brief introduction of this part for the main functions in our big seller. And the second part is the tools can help you to benefit. Yeah, which the tools can uh, be beneficial on your business and especially the uh, chat GPT uh, AI tools to help you to generate the product name. So you don't need to uh, create a product name by yourself manually one by one, which can yeah make your business more efficient. Okay, we'll focus on this, this part actually. So for the first part, we just do a very brief introduction to that. Okay, let's go back to here. Okay, this is the first part for the main function in our big seller product management, order processing, inventory management, and some other like accounting software, payment reconciliation, especially when you are selling on Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, or some other marketplaces. In our big seller, you can manage all your shops from multi-channel in just one page, pretty convenient. Okay, so now let's go back to the page of our big seller here. Okay, so for the main features, yeah, for the first part, I will introduce the product management. After you have got your big seller account, the first thing that you need to do is to authorize your shop to our big seller, this website. Here, you can go for a setting authorization. Yes, you need to first link your online shop to our big seller. Then you can manage all your online business in our big sellers page, including Shopee, Lazada, TikTok shop, and some other like self-built marketplace, Shopify, WooCommerce, and maybe, yes, maybe some of you guys are doing on Zalora, PG Mall, yeah, this marketplace. You need to first link your shop to our big seller here. And after you have authorized your shop to big seller, then you can check all the orders, all the product listings in here. Okay, let's, uh, let us just introduce the products first. After you authorize your shop to here, then you can click into the active listing here. Like here, I have authorized my Shopee, Lazada, TikTok to my big seller account. Then I can manage my product listing in one big seller page, all of my shops, the product listings, okay. Take my Shopee shop as an example, click into here. This is the product listing of my Shopee shop. And I have two Shopee shops here, okay? So in this page, in the products module, you can publish, yes, you can go for the draft here. You can publish a new product in Big Seller. And then after you publish, then this product will be on sale on your seller center. So actually you can do on both sides. You can publish the products in Big Seller or publish on your seller center. They will affect each other. Okay, in here, you can add the products. Yeah, you can create the products one by one in here by single. And also, if you have too much products to publish, then you can try here, use the Excel file to create the products in bulk. 
And then after you have saved this file, have created information, then this product will be saved in the draft. Then you can do the double checking here. If no more question, that then just publish. Then this product will be on sale, will be pushed to the active listing here, the live listing. Means that this product has been on sale. Like these two products, yeah, I created this products just now. Yeah, these two products, these two products has been on sale on my Shopee A, Shopee B, two shops. Okay. And also if you want to, if you want to sell this product, maybe I have a new plan in my Lazada TikTok. I want to copy this product to my new shop. Then you can try this. We have a tool called copy listings. Yes, you can copy the products from your Shopee, Lazada, TikTok to your another shop. Like here, I sell this bag. Yeah, this women handbag in my Shopee. I can check it and then import to my Lazada or a TikTok. Just check it and then import. That will pop out this page. Yeah, remind you go for the draft. You can just click into here and then modify the product information in the draft listing. If no more question, then just publish. Then this product will be on sale on your new shop in another marketplace. Okay. This is for you to copy one product or maybe some of your products. If you want to copy all the products from a old shop to a new shop, then you can try this, copy by store. Yes, you can choose here. Like I want to copy all the products on my Shopee to my Lazada or my TikTok. Just check it and then click confirm. Then you will get the same page. Remind you go for the draft. You can click into there and then you will, yeah, then you will uh, move on to the draft, maybe your TikTok shop, and then you can modify the information and then check again, then just publish. Then all the products from your Shopee will start to on sale on your new shop, okay? This is the copy by store. You can copy all the products from a old shop to a new shop. Can try it. Okay. And for this one, yes, actually we have two main tools in here. We call it scrape products and copy listings. Copy listings means that you can copy the products from your own shop to your another shop to sell. Yes, it's to copy your own products. But the scrape products here means that you can copy the products from some other people's shop to your own shop to sell. And now we have a new, yeah, we have a new optimization. You can copy the products from TikTok shop. Yeah, this feature was launched this week. Yeah, this Monday. You can copy the products from TikTok shop. Yes, can try it if you want to, um, maybe if you want to copy the product information from some other people's shop. Yeah, maybe TikTok shop. Then you can try it. Straight products. You can copy the products from some other people's shop to your own shop to sell. Scrape products. Okay, so go back to our product listing here. After you publish the product, you can check it in the live listing. And also you can edit the product information by here, by this single, yeah, this icon here to edit the product one by one. Or if you have too much products, you can bulk check, just bulk edit here, okay. I will try one example like these two product. I can bulk check and then bulk edit. And remember, choose sync and edit. So then you can get the latest product information from your seller center to our big seller. Then just confirm. Okay, then we'll start to synchronize. Just wait for a while. Confirm next. Then you will go for the add team page. Yes, in big seller here, you can add it all the product listing from your Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok in just one page, including the SKU information. If um, maybe some of our seller, they don't have the SKU information in the seller center, then they can try to use the bulk edit, this tool to generate the SKU by one click. It will be formed with parent SKU plus variation. So it means that if you just need to give a parent SKU to your product, like here, let me try one example of test. And also you can use the bulk edit here to generate the to generate the parent SKU. Start with 0, 01 and then confirm. Then the parent SKU will be formed like test zero, test 
010203. And then you can here click bulk edit to generate the SKU information will be formed with parent SKU plus variation. So if you don't have SKU information and you don't want to do it one by one, then you can try to use Big Seller here to bulk edit, to bulk generate the SQ information. Then just need to update. Then after you have finished to update, this part of information will be pushed to your seller center as well. So it means that you can modify the product information in Big Seller or your seller center. They will be, yeah, they will affect each other. Okay, so here's the example. Okay, so basically this, uh, yeah, this is the part for uh, product management. You can manage all your products in Big Sellers one page. Okay, and for some other tools, or we will discuss it later. Okay, this is for products. You can manage your product in Big Seller. And also you can export here, export the products. Maybe you have some other usage. You can export it to the Excel file. And also, yes, you can add the watermark in here. Like here, this product, you can go for editing page to add the watermark or in the bulk action here to add it, image, add the watermark. Like here, let me try one, like this one, confirm. You can see here, yeah, the first image of this product, product image was added. The watermark was added in here. Yeah, you can try it. If you want to, maybe you want to display, yeah, you want to change this product uh, image to the original one, then you can try this gallery. Because in our big seller, our system will auto save the product's image in here. Yeah, before added, the watermark before added and the watermark added here. These two image will be auto save. So if you want to find the, original image you can go for gallery here to check so maybe sometime you change your laptop your computer and then you didn't save the image but you'd want to find that image for some other previous old products you publish then you can go for a gallery here for all the online online products our system will auto save the image from these products the previous products okay Okay, so basically, yeah, this is the brief introduction for products module. You can try it. Yeah, especially you are selling on many, many, maybe multi-channel, yeah, multi-marketplaces, then you can try it. Oh, yes, uh, I forgot to, oh, I forgot to introduce one thing. It's our subscription service, yeah. In, a, in our subscription service here, if you have no more than five shops, yeah, if you have no more than five shops and no more than 3,000 orders per month, then you can try our free plan forever. So if you only have one shop, two shops, you can try our free plan. And by the time you have more shops, more orders, then you can try, yeah, then you can try to subscribe, yes. So if, if free plan can satisfy your need, you can try it forever. And including the watermark, yeah, you can use it for watermark feature. Free plan can try it, free plan. Okay. So yes, this is for the, okay, for the second order processing. Yeah, especially when you are selling different marketplace, maybe if you want to check the orders, you need to switch to different seller center that will, yeah, they will take some time and maybe will make you confused sometime because you need to switch for one page and then another page. But in big seller here, if you have authorized all your shop to big seller, then you can check all the orders from all the online shops you are doing on. Like here, if you have authorized, then the new orders will be synced to here, new orders listing. Okay, so let me show a flow chart in here. Yeah, now we are on the second topic. Yeah, just a brief introduction for the order processing. Yeah, this flow chart. Actually in Big Seller, we have four steps to process our orders. From new orders, it will be automatically synced to Big Seller. And then you need to pack, move it to the next status. Then you can do the, all the printing in here, second status. 
And here you can ship your order as well. After you ship it, it will be moved to to pick up orders. And then the courier, yes, will scan this package. And then after it has been scanned successfully, then move to ship orders. Yes, basically just these four steps to process your order. Very easy. Okay. So now let me try one example, how to process your order. How to process your order. Okay. Here from new orders. Yeah, I have created these two new orders in here. Yeah, the order number, yeah, it's my name. Okay, so let me try you, try to, yeah, try to show you here. Like this order, I can take this icon here to pack it, or I can just bulk check and then pack them. Successful. Then this order will be moved to second status, in-process orders. And for in-process order, in process orders here. Yeah, for the question, yeah, I noticed that. Um, let me see. Do we process per marketplace? Actually, no, you can check here, the filter here, you can check all the orders, yeah, from all the orders here, including Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, and some other marketplace you have authorized to big seller. So it means that you can process all the orders from all the shops in just one, this page, new orders listing. And also if you want to check maybe only I want to only want to check my Shopee orders can use the filter here to check. Okay, so I have packed these two order, move it to the second status in process orders. For in process orders, I can do all the printing, yeah, including invoice. Yeah, you can print the invoice to your buyer to your customers in Big Seller. Okay, in here I will try. Yeah, I will show you how to print the shipping label. You can click this. Yeah, to do the single print or just here bulk check and do the printing in here. And then you will get this page. In Big Seller, we have two print methods, general printing and auto high-speed printing. For auto high-speed printing here, we support to print shipping labels from different marketplaces, different logistics and different shops. So it means that if you want to print the shipping labels from Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, or maybe JNT Express, Shopee Express, then can try this high speed printing. You can, yeah, you can do the printing in bulk in just one time and it support 1000 shipping labels at a time. So it would, yeah, it would save your time to do the printing. You can do it just by one click. Okay. But here, re yeah, remember to download this printing plugin if you want to try it. Okay. Here I will show this one general printing and then. And then you will get this preview page of the shipping label, what information inside. Can check in here, then just print in here. And when you go back to Big Seller, here you can mark as printed. Yes, mark as printed. Then you can, yeah, check the status here, label printed. So this icon can help you to identify which order I have printed the shipping label or not. And also you can use the filter here. Yeah, to check the order, I haven't printed the shipping label, click into here, just do the printing directly. Yeah, can help you to identify. And besides this, because normally the shipping label, the template are from seller center, we call it standard shipping label. But in big seller, you can try our customized shipping label, means that you can add the information you want to display in your shipping label, especially the picking information. It's in, yeah, how to set it, how to set it. You can go for a setting, shipping setting. I will choose one, maybe this one, JNT Express. Go for edit. Yes, ma'am, for your question, yeah, our subscription service in Parcel, I will show you later. Yeah, I will show you later. Yes. So the customized shipping label is in the shipping setting. Is in here, yes, because normally we'll use the standard shipping label, the shipping label template from our seller center. In Big Seller, you can customize your shipping label. Here we have three types. Yeah, you can have a check in here, three types. And type three, yeah, it's most popular one because you can, because uh, here it display the item image in here. So you can use this, this part of information to do the picking in your warehouse. It, then you don't need to print the pick list. You don't need to print the pick list. You can use this part information to do the picking. 
And also you can choose the information you prefer, like variation name SKU and uh, note for pick orders, fragile message, customized logo, label notes. You can set the information you prefer and then confirm. And here you have set the customized shipping label template. Then you just need to save. And also, if you want to print the packlist with label, you can enable this one. So the packlist will follow the shipping label and display in the second page when you are doing the printing for shipping label. Then need to click save. Remember that. Yeah, sure. You can use the original shipping label. Yeah. Standard shipping label, we call it. It's the first option, standard shipping label in the edit here. And normally, if you don't set the customized shipping label in here, in edit here, then we will use the shipping label template from Seller Center, the original one. Yes, just don't set it in here. Then we'll use the original one. And besides this, customize shipping label, you can also customize pack list, pack list, summary list, and the invoice. You can set the template in here. Yes, to, for all the printing sheets in here. And after you set the template, you can go back to, yes, the part, our part, order processing, the second status, in process orders. You can, yeah, go back to here, do all the printing here, invoice, summary list, pick list. Okay, so this is part, this is the part for the printing. After you print the shipping label, you can ship your order, you can manual ship, here, click this icon here, do, do it one by one, or just bulk check, manual ship your order, or use your scanner, yeah, scan to ship. Connect your scanner to your computer and then try this one, scan to ship. And, but if you don't have a scanner and you don't want to use the manual ship, you can try our big seller's phone app. Yes, you can use the phone camera to scan the shipping label, the barcode, and then this order will be shipped automatically. And try it. Yeah, and we support Android and iOS system for the big seller's phone app, scan to ship. Okay, so now let me try this, ship this order. Confirm, successful. Then this order will be moved to next status, the third one, two pickup orders. For two pickup orders, you just need to wait for the courier to take the package or just take this package to the courier guy there. And after this package has been successfully scanned by the courier, it will be finally moved to the fourth, the last status, ship orders here, ship orders. This is the last status. And if it if this order hasn't been canceled, it will be moved to ship listing. It means that you have successfully shipped this order. But if unfortunately this order has been canceled, it will be moved to ship out. Yes, ship out. So when you receive this package back, you need to go for here to do the cancel order stocking here, cancel order stocking, or you can do it in a bulk action, cancel order stocking. Because if you have enabled our inventory feature, when new orders arrive, our system will allocate the inventory. And when you ship this order, then the inventory will be deducted automatically. So this order, yeah, actually the inventory has been deducted in the to pick up order status. So when you receive this package back, if it's shipped out, you need to do the cancel order stocking to manual stocking the inventory to your big seller warehouse. So yes, here are these four steps to process your order. From new orders, pack them, then move it to in-process orders. Then do the printing, ship your order, manual ship, scan to ship, or use your phone app. After this order is successfully shipped, it will be moved to two pickup orders. After the courier scan this package, then it will be finally moved to the ship listing, the ship listing if it hasn't been canceled. So basically these are four steps to process your new order in Big Seller. Yes, you can process the orders from all your shop, all your marketplaces in just one page. Also do the printing, very convenient. And also for the all orders here, if you want to check the orders in the previous time, you can check in the all orders listing here, all orders. For new orders, just check the new orders listing. So these are, yeah, this is the processing orders this part, order processing. 
And also we have some other tools like logistic checking. You can track the logistic information for all your orders. And also can check the shipping fee. Yes, the overcharge shipping fee. Yeah, especially maybe sometimes sell the same product but always make you lose make you lose money maybe for the the arrow weight or the arrow size yeah the wrong size that's always make you you overcharge shipping fee for this order you can check here our system will automatically calculate the shipping subtotal for every order every completed orders yes can check in here to avoid your yeah your lose in the business Okay, and also here are some other tools. Yeah, you can explore it or you can explore it by yourself or you can leave your question in here if you have interest in that. Okay. Mm, let me check. Yeah, here's a question. That will only will show how many SKU lies. But that will only show how many SKU lines. You mean that how many lines will show in the customer shipping label? Actually, it's up to yeah, up to your order. How many how many items inside? How many type of items inside? If you have too much items, yeah, too much too much types of items, maybe it will be yeah, it will be turned to the second page. And also for the free plan, yeah. Oh, you mean, yes, for the question from one ma'am, she want to know the parcel. Yeah, I will show the basic plan for the parcel amount to be paid here. Yeah, 1599 for a month, for a month. The basic plan, yes. If free plan cannot satisfy your need, maybe you need to take, take a consideration for a basic plan. Yeah, and for one month is one five nine nine pesos, one five nine nine, one thousand five hundred and ninety nine. Okay, so let's move on to the second. I'm sorry, to the third part. Yes, actually, for the inventory management is that especially when you are selling the same product in different shops, different marketplaces, sometimes you will have overselling. Yeah, make you so annoyed, and here, our big sellers inventory management, yes, can help you to avoid overselling. And the concept is like, yeah, we call it push inventory feature. Can helps you to, yeah, painless manage the stock across multi channels, yeah, multi stores, warehouse. For example, yeah, here, the push inventory, the concept is to create a merchandise SKU for your product. You need to create a product ID in Big Seller, Big Seller's product ID for all your products. Like left one here, we call it Merchant SKU. Then you need to map this Merchant SKU with your store SKU. Shopee A, Shopee B, like me here, the SKU in my Shopee shop, these two. And then you need to map them together. And then any shop has an order, like here, for example, maybe my Shopee A, and Shopee to yeah, both selling this product, this hanger. And then maybe Shopee A sold the product, yeah, has an order, and then the inventory will be changed to available 99. And then the stock of my Shopee A and Shopee B will be deducted at the same time. So Shopee A will show 99 online and Shopee B will show 99 online. So then you can manage the stock of this merchant SKU and then to affect the stock in all your online shop. Maybe you also sell it in Lazada, TikTok. And then you just need to finish the mapping, finish the mapping, yes. Mm -hmm. Incorrect. Okay, I'm sorry, let me see. Please share another screen. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, my fault. Yeah, the screen is not moving just now. Okay, again. 
for this part, yeah, inventory management for you to avoid selling, uh, avoid overselling, I'm sorry, avoid overselling for you to avoid overselling. And we call it push inventory feature. We call it push inventory feature. And the concept is to create a merchant SKU for all your product listing, yeah, for all your products first. Like here, I create a merchant SKU for my product, this hanger. And then I need to map this merchant SKU with my store SKU in all my shop, Shopee A, Shopee B, their store SKU. And then after the mapping here, if any shop has an order, like my Shopee A has an order, then the inventory here will be changed to available 99. And then Shopee B, the inventory will be changed as well. So by then Shopee A and Shopee B will both show 99 available stock online. So actually the push inventory is for you to manage the stock by managing the stock of this merchant SKU so as to affect the stock of all your online shops. Okay, this is the concept for the push inventory feature. If you want to know more about it, yeah, maybe yes, maybe you can schedule a training from a big seller because it will take some time for the whole process. Yes. Or maybe if you have interest in that, I, we can later show one example for this part. Okay, so for the next part is the report. Profit analysis. Yes, in Big Seller here, we have many reports in here. Report, we have store analysis. Yes, you can check the sales and the profit in here, the store analysis here, all your shops and all the analysis, all the information we will scrape from the seller center to our Big Seller and then we'll auto calculate for you. The sales analysis. The sales data here for all your shop. And also, the, yes, the most popular one is the profit analysis. Our system will automatically calculate the profit from all your orders, all your shops in here. But you need to fill in the cost for your product first. You need to fill in the cost here. And then our system, if this order has been completed, then the profit and the loss will be automatically calculated and displayed in here. So you can just check this list. And also you can export it. Export, yeah, export this report to Excel file. And also if you, yeah, if you have your warehouse, your worker, you have a worker in the warehouse, you can try the package analysis here, package analysis. Our system will count the package data from all the sub, sub account, your workers, yeah, how many package they pack for, the, for this day, how many orders they ship, they process for this day. So you can use this part of data yeah, to calculate the salary for your worker in the warehouse, the package analysis. Okay, especially the profit analysis, yeah, well, it will help you a lot to auto calculate the data from all the and all your orders. Can try it if you need this. Okay, so for the next part is the accounting software. Accounting software. Mm, but our big seller now, we don't, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether, whether you guys have yeah. tried this too. Accounting software, yeah, SQL account and accurate. SQL account and accurate. I'm not sure whether it's they are popular. Yeah, whether they are popular in Philippines, because for SQL, it's a accounting software popular in Malaysia, and accurate is a accounting software popular in Indonesia. Yeah. And if you have some more idea, if you have some requests for accounting software, like I'm using another accounting software, not this two. Yeah, you can you can type in the chat box here and let me know your request. So I can see our tech team. So we can do a research. Maybe we can integrate with that accounting software. And for these two accounting software in here is that if you have paid our big sellers plan, any plan like basic plan, then you can enjoy our accounting software for free to create a sales invoice. 
for your yeah for all your Shopee, Lazada, TikTok shops, and then you can use the sales invoice to declare the tax, and also can do some financial settlement for all your online shops. Yes, can create a sales invoice in here directly. This is for accounting software, but now we only have this feature to create a sales invoice. We are still improving for this part. We will and we will have the version two for this accounting software feature. Now we can only create a sales invoice to do the tax, declare the tax. Okay, let me see. There's a question from a ma'am. Would the analysis show previous order or new order only upon using Big Seller? Mm, actually, the profit analysis here, yes, this is a good question. Actually, for the profit analysis here, for the previous order will be shown in here as well. But for the first authorization for Shopee, you can only check the orders in the past, yeah, in the past 14 days. Yeah, in the past 14 days. And for Lazada and TikTok, you can check the orders in the past 30 days. Yes. So if you want to check the more previous time, the orders, then you cannot check in here. But for Shabby Lazada TikTok, Shabby 14, Lazada TikTok 30. 30 days in the past. QuickBooks. Yes, for the accounting software, yeah, the QuickBooks. Yes, actually we are doing, yeah, we are doing the research for QuickBooks as well. And we have a WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group for that, for the QuickBook integra integration. If you want to join that, yeah, and our tech team is there. If you have some more ideas, you can contact our customer service in the dashboard, the live chat in here. You can contact our customer service to join that group and we'll have the update information in that group for the QuickBooks, yeah, the QuickBooks integration, accounting software. Okay. It's so nice to, yeah, so nice to know that some of you guys want the QuickBooks as well. Yeah, because we are doing the research for that. Okay, for next one, sorry. Next one, the payment reconciliation. Yes, it's a new feature in our big style actually. Payment reconciliation is in the report. The payment reconciliation here, yes, can help you to check your marketplace's income. You can here to verify whether the platform has released the income or not. And also on the to release page, the completed orders will be shown in here. And also you can go for here, release listing to verify whether the release income is correct or not. You can check here the amount difference, the amount difference. And the amount difference equals platform release amount minus estim yeah, estimated release amount. Yeah, you can check the difference here to, to track, yeah, to check whether the release income is correct or not. But yes, but now we only support for Shopee and TikTok the payment reconciliation. And also you can export. You can export this part of information, this part of data, the payment. Okay, this is the payment reconciliation. But if you want to get the money back, yeah, if you want to get the money back from the seller center, you still need to go back to Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, the seller center to get the money back. Because in a big seller, you, yeah, we do not support to link your back bank account to your big seller. So here is for you to check whether the income is, co is correct or not, the release income here for you to check. If you want to get the money back, please go for seller center, yes. Okay, for the last one, yeah, for the last one, the main function in our big seller is the mobile app. Yes, in our big sellers mobile app, now we have five features. The first one is order notification. Means that if you have a new orders arrive, our system, I think this screen, yeah, I need to show it again. Yes. Here, yeah. okay. Here for our, Big Seller's phone app, we have five main features now. 
For the first one is order notification, means that if you have a new order, our system will, yeah, will notify you, you have new orders arrived, please check. And the second feature is you can process your new order in Big Seller. So for the, for the order notification, if you notice that you have a new order, then you can click into our Big Seller's mobile app to process your new order. Yes. And the third one is to scan to check orders. If you have finished to pack your package, you can use the phone camera to scan the barcode to, to check the order details, to check the order information. And the fourth one is to scan to ship. You can use your phone camera to ship the order. So if you don't have a scanner, you can try the phone app, yeah, the mobile app to ship your order by the camera. And the last one is the scan to send image. Scan to send image means that you can use your big seller's phone app after you have packed your package, you can take a picture. You can take a picture of the package or the shipping label. And then this image, this picture will be sent to your buyer, to your customer. So then you can use it to take it as a proof to avoid the situation. Like you always receive the complaints from the buyer. They don't receive, they haven't received the package or some other accident. Just take it, take this image as a proof to and as a uh, records. Okay, let me share here. Ma'am, oh, there's me. send excuse the image me. records. Yes, excuse if you me, have send the image by the big sellers excuse app. Me, ma'am. All the no. yes. Ma'am, about ano uh, uh, about scan to image. So first thing that we need to do is to uh take a photos of the of the item, right? So. Um, mm. The camera that we're going to use is um, the camera app inside the big seller, right? Actually, for the scan to send image is that you need to first download our big sellers app. And then after you pack your package, you can you can open the this uh, this app and then take a click into this feature and then take a picture of this this package or this shipping label, then you can send it to your buyer. Yes, so very uh, easy. Okay, so we're gonna open the app and then um, take a picture and then scan the 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 barcode, right? Yes, and then, and then take a picture. Automatically send to the buyer. To the, the buyer. Yes, yeah, send the to the buyer. Or the the photos of the item. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Um, and okay. the records will be safe in here. The records will be safe in here. So so as to use it use it to. Take as a proof, as a record to avoid a situation like maybe the career steals your package or some other accidents. Yeah. So this is a record mm -hmm. for you to claim your cl claim yourself. You have shipped this order. This is the image proof. Can we access that um that feature in a free uh free subscription or is it a paid um feature? Actually, for scandership, it's a paid feature. Yeah. It's a paid ah, feature. Okay. It's, uh, it is a paid feature. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. Um, okay. Mention about, yeah, talking about the subscription here. Yeah. Actually, for the free plan, we only, yeah, for the free plan, we only have a limitation for this feature. We call it scan schedule publish, is that you can publish your product in the time you schedule, yeah, in the time you want, you prefer. And the wave shipment, yeah, you cannot use it for free plan. But actually, wave shipment, wave shipment, we only uh suggest the seller that have more than 200 or 300 orders per day, then to try the wave shipment is that you can allocate yeah, our system will allocate orders into different type of waves, different type of waves according to the package type. So then to improve your order processing. The, uh, make it more efficient wave shipment. So next one is the accounting software. Yeah, if you are in free plan, you cannot use it. But if any plan, then can try it. And also, let me see. I think that's all. And also the scan to send image. Yeah, if, if you are in free plan, sorry, cannot use it. Yes, just this limitation. This just this feature cannot use. But for another's order processing, inventory management, or watermark, and some other great products, copy listing. Yeah, you can enjoy it. You can enjoy it for free. 
Okay. And also we have a, we have a new feature update in our mobile next week. Is that you can print the shipment label in our big sellers phone app. So then actually this pro yeah, actually the whole process is completed nowadays. You can process your new orders in phone app and then can print shipping label in your phone app. And then after you print the ship la shipping label, finish the pack, finish to pack your package, then you can scan the shipping label, the barcode to ship your order. So by the time you, if you don't have a computer or you don't want, or you are not available to get your computer, you are not in the office, you still can manage, you, can, you still can process your order. Yeah, the whole process in just one big seller mobile app. You can print the shipping label next week in our big sellers app. Okay, so this is the introduction for the mobile app. Okay, and yeah, so let's move to the second part, the tools that can benefit your business. The first one, yeah, I think ChatGPT is quite popular this day. Actually, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by OpenAI. And it, it, it was launched in uh, on November 2022. Yes. So now we have link with ChatGPT. But now we only have this feature to auto-generate the product name by the keywords, by this ChatGPT AI tools. And now we support to use it by Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok products. Let me try one example in here. Okay, now we are back to big sellers page in products, active. Yeah, actually in all of this listing, you can try, yeah, you can try to use that. So let me try the example for active. Yeah, my product listings in the active page. Like this product, click into edit. Yes, and entrance is in here. This icon, this AI icon here. You can click into here. Yes, our big sellers, our chat GPT, the tools is for you now to intelligently generate the product name just by the keywords. Here you can enter the product keywords, the category, and then you need to select a target language. Here, select a target language and then just generate. Then here, after, after you click generate it here, our AI tool will generate five product names in here. You can modify the product name. Yes, you can choose the product name that you prefer and also can modify in here. And then here in the action part, you can choose to apply. After you choose the, uh, choose the um choose the option to apply then the current product name and the category will be updated yes here this ai tool is for you to automatically generate the product name just by some keywords so if you have many many new products to publish or um, you want you to show us some example i know just a one example one how, example uh, how okay it's going let me to, check um, generate a title yes because or... here if you want Please, to thank you sure if you want to try uh try if you want to generate the product name here requires yeah here requires to use the bitcoin and for free plan okay go back to here again for free plan for the bitcoin we have free bitcoin two bitcoins per day if you have a free plan so one Bitcoin can create one product name. One Bitcoin can create one product name. And if you are in basic plan, pro plan, we'll have different quotas for the free Bitcoin every day. And also, if you want to get more Bitcoins, you can purchase in here. By now, let me show the parcel. For 100 Bitcoins, need 60 pesos, 60 pesos. Okay, one Bitcoin can generate one product name. Here, just try example, mm, product keywords. Cause I haven't, haven't tried online selling. So I don't know what keywords would be good. Mm, maybe back, England. 
hand back. Um, what would be what would be good? Actually, I haven't tried this. I haven't tried to do the online selling. So, and this product I copy listing. Let me check it again. What's the keyword for this product? Mm. For example, the brand materials, main feature, usage. Okay, maybe I can click into the description to get some keyword. Because actually I scraped this product. So I don't know this product. I don't know the any information of this product. I don't sell it. So let me check some keyword of it. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. Just ignore it. Maybe handbag. Okay, just for example, yeah, more keywords you give in here, that will generate a um, better product name in here. Let me try one to generate. Then just need to wait for a while. Here, need one Bitcoin for a time. Generate successfully, yeah, one Bitcoin has been deducted. Yeah, you can check here. Then the product name, yeah, will be auto paid. So there are choices, right? Not just one, mm -hmm. uh, not just one generated product title. Mm, actually, yeah, we'll generate five. You can choose and, one. And uh, we can provide the um, the high traffic keywords that we can provide under the product keywords based on the, yes. the platform, uh, top search keywords, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. And also, yeah, maybe this one, I want to choose this one, this product name. And also, you can apply here directly or give some more words and then to apply. After you click this one, then the product name, the category, yeah, the information will be updated. Okay. Here, just one example. And you can show here originally seven, now six. Use my one, yeah, use my one Bitcoin to generate this five product name. Okay. So any other question for you guys? Can okay, leave in the chat box. Yeah, and also um, actually in the following days, we will improve. Yeah, we, we have optimization for this part. It's for the description, for the description. Okay, now we can auto-generate the product name by the keywords. But for our version two, this AI tool is for the product description. Means that you only need to keep, yeah, fill in some keywords, then our system will help you to create a description for this product. You don't need to fill it, fill in the description by your side one by one. Yes. Our version two is for the description and it will be launched soon. I think maybe maybe these two weeks. Yeah, will be launched soon, very soon. For the description, next part for the AI tool. Can okay, auto-generate. So please look forward to and also our tech team, yeah, our tech team. Uh, want me to get some more ideas from your guys. Yes, because they because they know that we, we have a meeting tonight. Yeah, maybe you guys have some more ideas for this chat GPT, this uh, AI tools. Yeah, you can leave your ideas in the chat box. Yes, can inform me or maybe you can contact our customer service to show you your ideas for this AI tool so we can yeah, we can improve ourselves to be better for this feature and try it. The description and the product name. Yeah, description will be launched soon. And also, yeah, if you have some new ideas for this AI tool, what you want the AI tool, the chat GPT to help you in the big seller, you can leave your ideas in here. And also, Mark, if you have some other good ideas for this, yeah, for what feature you want the AI tools to help you, yes, can let, let me know. So I can like forward this, this idea to our tech team so we can do a research and, and then it will be launched soon for the AI tools. Now we only have the product name and the description. 
Okay. So let's continue. And for the yeah, for the question in the chat box, we will discuss it in the final in the final part, the Q and A part. So let's continue for the following this these tools. The second one is auto auto boosting here. Okay, am I sharing my screen? Okay, go back to Big Sellers page. If if you are selling on Shopee, yes, you can try the boost management here. Let's say Shopee Boost is a marketing tool. You can select five products in the seller center and to boost it every four hours. And then Shopee will display these products on the top position on the corresponding category in your shop. And here in Big Seller, you don't need to manual boost your product. You can here add the products into this queue in your shop. And then this product will be automatically boosting in the corresponding category here. Like here, I have Shopee A and Shopee B, two shops. Here, enable the status and then click in to add it here. Using this auto boost feature means that you don't need to go back. Yeah, you don't need to go back to Shopee Seller Center to manually click boost for your products here. Yeah, the maximum quantity is 30, means that you can add 30 products into this queue. And then our system will, pro will auto boost five products automatically for a time. And here also you can see here the time counting. And after one, one hour and 43 minutes, then this product will be moved out from the queue. So next product will be pop up will be pop up and then start to auto boosting. And here means that you can ping the boosting. Here is for auto boosting and try it. And also a big seller will help reboost automatically when the last boost is over like here. So you don't need to manually boost your product after every four hours. Our system here will auto boost your product. Yeah, especially you're selling on Shopee, you can try it. Mm, but as I know, yeah, uh, Lazada, they also have the auto boost feature, but our big seller now, we don't support it to do it in big sellers page. If you want to try that, you can go for Lazada to have a try. They have the boost feature as well, Lazada. Okay. Okay, for the third one is the promotion watermark. Promotion watermark is here. Yeah, previously we mentioned that you can add the watermark for your products in the active here. You can do it in the bulk action. If you use this way to add the products, watermark, you need to manual add and then you need to manually remove if you don't want it. But for here, the marketing promote watermarks here. Here, you, the watermark will be automatically added by the time the promotion starts. And also, it will auto removed after the promotion ends. So if your shop will join the promotion in the following days, you can try this promotion watermark. The promotion watermark can make your product outstanding at the first glance. So you can try it. And the watermark will be auto added, will be auto -added and auto removed. I need to manual do it in here for the listing. You can try it. You can try it like this one. Yeah. I need to first create a template in here and then add click into add it and then add the, the products I want to join the promotion into this template. By the time yeah, the promotion is going to start, you need to here click publish. And then for the products, the first image will be automatically added. The watermark will be added to the first image. And after this, yeah, by the time this promotion ended, and then the watermark will be removed automatically. So you don't need to do it by yourself. Here, we'll auto add and auto remove. Okay, let's see. The next one is the reply management. Yes, in here, yeah, I'm not sure whether you guys have, uh, have tried this before, reply management. We call it auto. In here, 
after you enable this auto reply, we call it re review management actually, Big Seller will automatically reply to your customer's reviews. But first you need to set a reply template. Like here, nah, let me show you one example. Add a template first. Like here for my Shopee reviews, Shopee, for the one-star review, I can add the information. Yeah, maybe uh, so apologize. Yeah, so uh, feel so apologize for this uh, bad feeling, like some other words. And for the good reviews, five star review. Yeah, you can say thank you so much for your appreciate. Yeah, your appreciation. Some others good words in here, and then you need to enable the status here. But first, remember to set the description. Yeah, to set the review to set the review words here, to set the words here for each rating, the reviews here. Then after you have set the template, you need to go back to review management here. Yeah, like here, I have Shopee, Lazada, these two, yeah, these three shops. Click into here at setting, but you need to enable the status first. Yeah, click into setting. For my Shopee A shop, I want to use the template, any template you set just now. And then here, after you have new review from your shop, here our system will auto reply for the customer's review. So we don't need to do it by ourselves. Our system will auto reply by the time the customer leaves the review for the product. This is for reply management can help you to leave a good impression yeah, to your customers. Choppy, mom choppy. Choppy and Lazada. Hmm? For review management, we support for Choppy and Lazada. Review we management. You, we can hear you, mom. Um, it's uh, a bit choppy. Can you hear me? No, it's clear. Okay. Okay, so this is for review management. We support for Shopee and Lazada. Our system will auto reply the reviews from your buyers, your customers. And the last one is the schedule publish. It's in here actually. Yeah, previously I mentioned that you can publish the product in Big Seller and then this product will be on sale on your seller center, publish now. But if you want to publish this product in a scheduled time, you can try it schedule publish and then set the time you want. Maybe I want to publish this product in maybe tomorrow, 10 a.m. You can select in here. And by the time here, our system will automatically publish this product. So maybe you want to publish uh, maybe some of your products at the exact time for the specific time. You can try it for the schedule published. Okay. And go back to go back to the question in the chat box. Let me see. Yeah, the question from Melvin, accounting software for VIP user only. Kindly explain details for VIP user. Okay, the subscription service here. Actually, yes, for the different plan in here, we'll have different quotas like orders quota, store quotas, sub account. Actually, sub account here means that if you have a coworker partner, you can, you can, and you guys are doing on the same, yeah, running on the same shop, same business. Then here you can create a sub account for your partner, your your coworker. Then maybe for maybe for one people, he's in charge of products. Then you can enable the products permission for this sub account. Then he can only see this products module. Or maybe some, some other guys in charge of the order processing to ship the orders, then you can enable the permission for this part, sub account, to share the information in the same big seller account to your partner, your work, coworker, your, your staff in the warehouse, sub account. And actually, um, the difference for the VIP. The plan here, just the quotas. Yeah, so if any plan can satisfy your need, then you can enjoy it. 
for the um, maybe I think the greatest difference is the way shipment. If you are in basic plan, cannot use it as well because we only suggest the user that have more than 200, 300 orders per day then to try it. Yes, maybe wave shipment will be helpful if you have many, many orders, but if not so many orders, actually wave shipment would make your business more complicated. Yes. And for some others, actually, the if you are in a paid version, most of the feature you can enjoy it, but except for the wave shipment. Yeah, and the difference is just the quotas, quotas. Can see here, can enjoy it. Except for the wave shipment and some others you can enjoy. Okay, another question, ma'am, can you explain the great products? Sure, here, great products. Yeah, especially um, maybe we will sell the products from another people's shop. Yeah, maybe she's your supplier or some other situation. Like here, we have two ways to, yeah, two way to uh, scrape products, scrape by the link or scrape by the extension. And if you scrape by the link, you can also scrape the products from TikTok shop. And for extension, we support Shopee, Lazada, and some other Chinese marketplace like Taobao, Pinduoduo. AliExpress, yeah, this famous, yeah, this popular um, marketplace. They have many suppliers in there. And then actually here I recommend you to try this extension. It would be, yeah, the it would be more easier for you to scrape products just by one click. Let me try you one example. Here I actually I have installed it. You can see here the scrape product extension in here, product scraper. And then clang, go for maybe Shopee. And then you can click into the product page you want to scrape. You can scrape by current page or just scrape the specific product. Let me try maybe red just any keyword in here. You can click here to scrape current page or just here scrape one product. Try this one, scraping. Uh, this is Malaysia Shopee. And then here, successfully scrape one product. Then you can click into here to build, to build this product. Right, this product, what I, what I scraped just now, it was, yeah, it was sync to the great products listing here, sync to here. Then you can click into add it here. Also, if it's from Chinese marketplace, you can do the translation here. Here we have the translation option. You can just translate it from Chinese made to English here. If it's from Chinese marketplace here, you can do the translation. And then you can just import. Maybe I want to sell this product to my, on my Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, just import. And then we'll run, yes, we'll remind you go for the draft listing. You can click into there and then modify the product information and then just publish. Here is for scrape products, scrape by extension. Also, you can click into the details to scrape this product, to check it and then scrape it or you can scrape by current page. Means that if you click this one, all the products in this page will be scraped to your scrape product listings in Big Seller here. If we use scrape listing to copy from others account, do we need to log in details? Um, actually, no, you can just, yeah, here in this page to do the scraping here. You don't need to click into, de into the details, but if you want, you can also click into there and then do the scraping. Or just in this front page to check and then to do the scraping. Okay, any other question for this part? Yeah, so 
So we have finished the topics. The first one, main function, order processing, products, inventory. Yes, but we just do a brief introduction for this part, inventory. Yes. And also for some others like our mobile app and the report, pay, payment reconciliation. Yes, we have finished this part. If you have any question here now is the Q&A part. You can leave your question in here. Okay, one question. Is the scrape listing can be, is the scrape listing can ban your seller center? Actually, yes, actually for the scrape listing will not ban your seller center, but you need to pay attention. If you copy the products, like here, I copy the products from Shopee to my own Shopee shop to sell. So you need to modify. Yeah, here suggests you to modify the product name or the description so as to avoid the seller center find that you are selling the duplicate products than to ban your product, than to ban your products. So remember, after you scrape the products and move it to the draft, you need to do some edit. Yeah, do some edit. And also here we have a, we have a tool in here also in the draft here, like this product I scraped just now. Here, I recommend you to click into edit or bulk edit to modify the product title description to be different. Yeah, especially these two, description, product title. And also for the image, we have, uh, let me see, MD5 tool. This MD5 tool, here you can use it to avoid the marketplace Review, yeah, find that you are selling duplicate products. Yeah, can change the image format by click this icon. Okay, here, click change the MD5 format. Okay, successful. Then to publish. So here, actually, if you are using this great product, I uh, suggest you to modify the product name to be different from the original one. And also for description, can yeah modify it as well. And for the MD5 to change the image, the format in here to change it, click into here. So that's the reason why I think, yeah, I recommend you guys to try this one. The AI tools for here to generate the product name and the product description. So by the time you are doing this great product, you, you need to modify the product name description. So you can use this AI tool to auto-generate you don't need to modify it by yourself manually one by one. And try it, the AI tool in here. In the next version, maybe, I think maybe next week or maybe maybe in April. Yeah, the first week of April. April. Yeah, we will have an AI tool for description. You can use keyword to generate another new description. How's the Loricate for Lazada? Will it land on Loricate or just in the long description? Yes, for the Loricate, yeah. Actually, if you want to edit the Loricate for your Lazada products, you need to go back to Big Seller, I'm sorry. You need to go back to Seller Center to edit. If you added the Loricate in Big Seller here, then after you save this description, the Loricate will be changed to a long description. So if you want to keep it to keep it as a lorry kit, you need to go for seller center to add it, the information inside the lorry kit. Otherwise, if you add it, the lorry kit in big sellers, this here, then it will be changed to the long description. You have tried that, right? That's your experience. Yes. Yeah, so sorry if it make you feel bad, but yeah, for the lorry kit, we don't support to edit it directly in Big Seller. Have updated, maybe updated? Mm, sorry, no, I think. Yes, because maybe for the API limitation, yeah, we do not support, we do not support to edit the lorry kit directly in here at the moment. Okay. Yeah, one user, yeah, one seller raised his hand. Any question? Uh, Miss Nancy, is there any feature on yes. the big seller where, where we could sync the 
chat messages from the customers. Chat, okay, for the chat. Actually, for Arabic seller, yeah, we we don't support to link the chat to Arabic seller's website directly. But here, we, I have another recommendation. I'm not sure whether you guys have heard it before. Actually, it's a product from, yeah, we are, okay, I'm sorry, change it to English. Yeah, for Docker, this multi chat this multi chat software, we are belong to we are belong to the same main company, Big Seller and Docker. We are from the same company, and it's our another product. This is a customer service management, and also it has the AI chat system. It has the AI chat system, and also if you are doing Shopee Lazada TikTok, you can. Yes, you can manage the chats from all your shops in just one page. And it has the version in desktop and the phone app support Android and iOS system. Yes, this is Docker. And also um, for the today's, yes, for today's, we have a gift. If you want, yeah, if you want to try this one, the chat software, yeah, here I can, send a VIP one free trainer guys to to have a try. The VIP one free trial for one month. Yes, I can I can share this one to you guys if you need. VIP one free trial. Because for free plan, I think maybe some of your guys are running for maybe three shops. So free plan can cannot satisfy your need. But for a big seller, if you have no more than five shops, you can enjoy free plan. But for this chat software, if you have more than three shops, then you need to yes, pay for maybe VIP one. So if you need this one to take an experience, to have a try, if you need the VIP one free trial, I can later send a call to you guys as the gift for one month free trial, VIP one. This is a chat software support. Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok. And also actually it's not only a chat software. It has many special features like, let me see. Yeah, the AI chatbot. They have, they have the AI chatbot, AI chatbot. It's another product. We are from the same company. And also for our big seller now, for the subscription, if you buy big seller VIP, then you can get the VIP for free. It's our promotion for this month. Mm. Okay, Beth, you want to try Docker, right? Okay. So let me, yes, let me just send, send a code to here. Just give me a second. I need to apply for that. Okay, for the question, you guys can continue to ask question. How to integrate our store in Big Seller? In here, setting, authorization. Here you can add, you can authorize your shop. Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, Shopify, WooCommerce, Dalora to our big seller's website. And for the question, is it safe? Yeah, you guys, yeah, don't to worry about this because we are official authorized by Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, these marketplaces. We are official cooperation. Official cooperation. So you don't need to worry about this. Yes. We are safe to use because we are official cooperation. If you want to get some more proof, yeah, if you want to have some more proof for the official authorization, you can contact our customer service in the live chat here. In the dashboard, we have a live chat in here. Tomorrow you can find it in the live chat. We have a live chat here. You can contact our customer service if you need some more proof for the official authorization from this marketplace. Yes, but no, no worry about this. We are official authorized and we have many, many users nowadays. And also for the, let me apply that if you need, the free trial for one month, I need to fill in the form. Okay, any other question can leave in here directly.
Any question can leave in the chat box here. Okay, for the invitation code. Okay, B I. Okay. okay, this is uh, I send in here V I G three zero three Q. This is the invitation code for this chat software, the VIP one free uh, in here. Yeah, the VIP one free trial for a month. And you need to pay attention that this invitation code only can only be used for a new account. So it means that if you are registered, you are if you are registered in an account um in Docker, then you can fill in this, you can input this invitation code, then finish the register. Registration, yeah, registration. But for the existing account, cannot use it. Yeah, this is for a new account. When you are doing the rest, uh, what when you are doing the registration, where can we download the phone mobile app? I'm sorry, do you mean the app for Big Seller? Yeah, if you are using Android, you can contact our customer service, or maybe I just send in here. Send in here. Let me find that. Mm, if you are using an Android, can try this installation package. I just send in here. Can copy to your. Yeah, this is the installation package. Installation package for Android system. If you are is using an iOS, can search it in the Apple Store. Can search it in the Apple Store and then find it. If you are using an Apple, in Apple. Okay, a question from Mark. What is the counterpart of the seller and Shopee business? Advisors in big seller. Oh my God, you're asking the advice, advice for me? Our business advisor. I see. So, okay. Actually, if you want to check that also, we have a premium service provider here. This, yeah, this business provider, we are in the official cooperation as well. Business data, store performance. Let's try the invitation code. Does not exist. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think that's the reason you are using the existing, you have got your, Docker account already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I mentioned that, what I mentioned that uh, the code is only used for the new account. So if you are registering an account, a new account, then you can input the code. Yes, that is for, that is for the, uh, the new account. If you are ready, yes, if you have got your Docker account, you cannot use that. Business data store perform performance, what do you mean by this, Mark? You mean, can we check? You mean, can our staff check this part? The store performance, the business data? Can we check? Sure not. <laughs> sure not, cannot check this. Yes, but we have a database. We have, yeah, if you have any, if you have any question like here. Yeah, maybe by the time you're using Big Seller, you will have some error message. You will have, have some error message. In our database, we can track this error message and get the solution for you. So if you made any question like here, I don't know how to solve this. I don't know the solution for this error message. So you can take a screenshot and maybe you can send the order number to us so we can track this error message and get the solution for you and help you to solve the problem. For some others, we cannot track. We cannot check. Just the error, yes. In our database, we can check the arrow message from all your orders. Maybe you are doing the publishing, but failed. You don't know how to solve with this arrow message. You can take a screenshot and then send maybe the code for this product, the product ID, yes, or the order number so that we can track this arrow message and then get a solution for you to help you solve the problem. Yes, because sometimes when you are doing the pub publishing, you are processing order. Yeah, there will be some questions, some problem in here. But no worries, our 
customer service are on duty from Monday to Saturday, from Monday to Saturday. And contact our customer service in the dashboard live chat in here or in the WhatsApp, Telegram, Viber, or Facebook. Yes, and also can send an email to us. Our big seller support, the email. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Yes, for Beth, the invitation code is for a new account. If you want to have a try, maybe you can register a new account, then input the VIP, the code to get your big, uh, to get your VIP and have a try, just have a try. And you, if you think that you like this one, yeah, you can enjoy it. And then maybe you can try to attend this promotion because now if you purchase Big Seller, then you can get Docker for free. Yeah, this is the promotion for this month. Okay, any other question? Yeah, here I recommend you to try the AI tool to generate the product name. The product name, and in the future, we have product title. And next week, you can print the shipping label in our big seller, the mobile app. Mobile app. Okay, any other question? For Mark, do you have any other questions? Yes, if you need some other, yeah, if you have some other ideas, another request, you can contact us to let me to let us know. Or here you can in the service, you can find the training. And the training is free. You can find the training and then we will arrange the training for you. Maybe one-to-one -one training or a group training. Yeah to see which one do you prefer to arrange the training for you to know some more functions. Yeah, maybe for your team, for your friend, for your coworkers to have the training. Is VIP plan any plan that has monthly payment? Mm -hmm. You want to pay it by month? Yeah, sure, you can do it. Pay for one month or two months. And the maximum here is a year, a year. Maximum here is to purchase a year. If you buy 20, sorry, if you buy 12 months, then you can get one month free and then can get five months Docker VIP one. Also here. Yeah, I can pay it by month, monthly pay. And also, if you want to get the invoice, for this payment, you can go for a setting, the purchase record here in the action here. Yeah, because here, this is my test account. So actually I don't pay it. Yes. This free plan, yeah, this, uh, this plus plan is our uh, tech team to help us to add it in. Yeah, but for your side, if you have purchase here in action, you can print, yeah, you can download the invoice for the payment. So it means that if I purchase basic plan, then I'll be in time for a dual code plan. Yes, yes. If you purchase one, one month that you can, let me see. Oh, here, I'm sorry, here. Yeah, I put three months or above, then can get dual code VIP. Yeah, let me check the details of this promotion. Mm, yes, here, I'm sorry for that. Yeah, if you buy, yeah, if you buy more than three months, then you can get one month Docker VIP free. Yeah, so sorry for that. And also I can show you the price in here for Docker. Uh, this is USD. Cause I don't have a Docker account, so I cannot log in here to change to Peso yeah, to show you guys. But you can try it if you get interested in this. Yeah, and also for the invitation call, call input, can input for your new Docker account and take it yeah, and, and have a try for the VIP one. It's a chat software and also have the AI, the AI chatbot. 
Okay, so any other questions for today? Yes, if no more questions, I think we are, that's all of the day. So any other question also from Mark? Do you have questions? No more questions, mom. Okay, thank you so much for today's, yeah. Okay, I think that's all of the day. That's all yes. for, uh, um, I think no more, there's no more questions. So thank you, Mam Mam Tansi. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you too. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Thank you so me. much for yes. the second time. Yeah, thank you so much. You yeah, we have many new functions in the following yeah, and days. And we hope uh, if today. there's a new yeah. updates in Big Seller, uh, we can invite you again to show. Yeah, that. sure. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Sure. Yes, thank you, sure, Mom. It's my pleasure. Yeah, I I I'm so yes so happy to meet you guys. Yes. So happy to meet you guys. And we will have many, many functions in the following days because we keep improving yeah, our system all the time. And if you have new ideas or your new requests, yeah, some other requests for new, some other feature, yeah, what you want Big Seller to help you realize in your business, can let us know. So we'll do a research and we'll uh, let it launch if it possible. Yes, if it possible. Yes. Yes, so that's all of today. No thank you so yeah. much, ma'am. Thank you for the time. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Thank you, ma'am. Stop sharing. Okay, so that's all of today. Thank you so much for your question. Yes. Thank you guys for your question. Yeah, for attending. Yeah, for next time, if our big seller have a new function, we can have a, another class like today. Yes, can share the late, yeah, share the latest information to all of you guys to help your business, make your business more efficient. Okay, can also contact our customer service if you need some more, maybe some more information, some more like training, yes, can contact us. Okay. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for thank you. Yeah, you too. Okay, so now I'm going to leave. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, goodbye, Mark. Thank and all you of you too. guys, thank you. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> so pede tayo magtagalog. <laughs> So ayun no yung big seller um uh, pinakita lang ni Miss Tan Tan si yung iba pang mga updates about sa big seller. No alam ko yung iba sa inyo confused para saan yon ano ang gamit ng big seller and then I've been receiving messages right now na yung iba is hindi makarelate kasi parang it seems na mukhang pang advanced. Now ang suggestion ko sa big seller kung nagsisimula tayo Ang mga pwede nating gamitin doon sa big seller is yung number one. Okay? Uh, number one, pwede mong gamitin yung copy listing. Okay? Doon sa copy listing, pwede kang mag-duplicate ng, ng products. Uh, if you have a additional stores. Wait a minute, naririnig po ba ako? Hello? Mic test, sound check. Naririnig po ba? Okay? Yes. So, Ah uh, mga yes, pwede mong gawin gawin doon sa big seller kung nagsisimula ka and hindi ka pa hindi mo um let's say you want to try the the free sub subscription first. Una ang una mong pwedeng gamitin doon is the copy listing. Okay, doon sa copy listing uh is all about duplicating. Okay? Dinoduplicate mo yung product mo into to your another store. So let's say okay na itong isang store mo and then you want to add additional store and then hindi ka na mahasel na maglipat or mag-upload uh, mag pa ng, ng new items doon sa bagong store mo. All you need to do is to integrate. Ano ibig sabihin integrate? I, i, ano mo, uh, tama, i-integrate mo, i-authorize mo yung isa mong store doon sa big seller. So dalawa na yung store doon na naka-integrate sa big seller mo. Ang mangyayari doon, yung, yung products from store A, okay, pwede mong i-duplicate yun papunta sa store B. Okay? As in, magkamukhang magkamuka. Pero, 
Ang hindi maduduplicate doon is the optimization. Tandaan niyo yan ha. Kapag nagduplicate kayo doon or magcopy listing kayo, hindi maduduplicate yung or hindi makokopya kung ano yung optimization na ginawa mo. Siyempre, you still have to work out yung optimization ng store B mo kapag uh, nag-copy listing ka. Okay, And alam ko din kapag nagka-copy list, isang beses ka lang pwedeng mag maglipat. So, hindi mo pwedeng, uh, kumbaga, uh, kunyari, this is the product A, gagawa ka ng multiple um, duplication of product A sa store B, hindi yata pwede ata yung ganun. Okay? Kasi magkaka-error yun. Ang pwede lang is si product A lilipat kay product B. Pero si product uh, sa, sa store B. Pero hindi mawawala yung product mo doon sa store A mo. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin. Pangalawa, ano pa pwede mong gamitin doon kapag nagsisimula ka pa lang? Uh, maraming, uh, uh, isa sa mga problema ng mga sellers is ano, uh, ano yung mga pwedeng ibenta. Okay? Ano yung mga pwede nating ibenta doon? Uh, ano yung mga top selling na maaari mong ibenta? And then through research, di ba? Nagre-research tayo sa Shopee, nagre-research tayo sa Lazada, naghahanap tayo ng mga pwede nating ibentang items doon by uh, basing doon sa mga top selling items. Ngayon, excuse me, ngayon may nakita tayong items doon sa, sa Shopee and Lazada, gusto nating ibenta rin yung item na yon since it is a top selling and then you know where to get that item, alam mo yung supplies, di ba? And sa tingin mo, kaya mo ibenta, you can scrape that item. Ano ibig sabihin ng scrape? Yung scrape is parang kokopyahin mo yung product listing na yon and then ipapasok mo yon sa store mo. Siyempre, uh, i-apply mo pa rin yung step 1 or yung optimization na ginagawa. Okay, i-improve mo yon Hindi kasi pwede 100% copycat. Baka mamaya ma-report pa tayo doon, di ba? Kasi may mga sellers na ganyan na ayaw, uh, lalo na kung may mga watermarks, di ba? So, iiwasan natin yung ganun. So, ang gagawin natin is we have to improve pa rin yung mga na-scrape nating mga products. Okay, pangatlo, ano pa ang pwede natin gawin doon? Okay, kung nagsisimula tayo. Uh, yung boost management. Yung boost management, kung sa Shopee, Shopee ito ha, kung sa Shopee, nag auto bump ka, binabalik-balikan mo yung product listing mo para manually i-bump mo, then every 4 hours, babalikan mo. Pag in-integrate mo yan sa, sa big seller, hindi mo na kailangan mag-auto bump. Okay? Uh, uh, ilalagay mo lang yun sa boost management and then automatically, it will be auto bump. Okay? Automatic yung mag-auto bump yun na hindi mo na kailangan balik-balikan. Okay, yun yung pangatlong pwede mong gamitin doon. Pang-apat, ano pa yung pwede mong gawin doon? Um, pwede kang gumawa ng mga auto-reply sa mga product review. Okay, you can set a auto-reply sa mga 5-star, 5-star rating, 4-star, 3-star, or de depende. May range yun eh. Let's say 4 to 5 stars or yung mga below 3, 3 to 1 stars. May mga auto-reply yan na pwede mong iset up doon na hindi mo na kailangan na ikaw pa ang magre-reply or aawayin mo pa sila, di ba? Kasi sometimes we can reply to them in a nice way, di ba? Hindi mo na kailangan na mali yung ginagawa natin na nakikipagtalo pa tayo dun sa 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 review kasi uh, magre-reflect kung anong klaseng store seller ka, okay? O sabi na natin, tama ka, may karapatan ka, pero ang the best suggestion dyan, replyan natin in a, uh, in a good way na parang may ginawa tayong solusyon doon. Pero ang suggestion ko, huwag mo na lang replyan kasi mag-a-up yan sa review mo eh. Ang replyan mo yung mga 5-star rating kasi para sila laging nasa unahan ng product pages mo. Okay? Ano pa? Ano pa yung pwede mong gamitin doon? Um, uh, kung nagsisimula ka pa lang ng, ng kunyari may 2-store ka pa lang, di ba? Pwede mong, pwede ka doon mag-process na ng orders Dalawang store, antimano, 2 to 5 stores, pwede mong gawin yun. And then, sa inventory, pwede rin. And then, ano pa, pwede mong i-customize yung way bill mo. Pwede mong i-list down doon ano yung laman ng item or pwede mong lagyan doon ng ano na, uh, kunyari, uh, no video, uh, no unboxing video, no return, pwede mong lagyan yung way bill doon. So, pag nag-print ka sa big seller, kasama yun doon. 
Okay, so yun yung mga initial na pwede mong gawin as a kung nagsisimula ka pa lang sa 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 Lazada and Shopee or TikTok na tinatawag. And then kung advanced ka na, meron ka ng mga multiple stores, so you can go to VIP na. Kung gusto mong ma, ano, kung gusto mong ah uh, natawag doon, kung gusto mong uh, gawing na one stop shop na lang or isang fulfillment na lang ang gagawin mo sa lahat ng mga stores mo. Nakalibot ako itanong or yung sa ano yung sa yung sa ano sa sa keywords or title uh, generating gener yung pag-generate ng product keywords. Pwede mo rin yung gamitin. Ah, pwede, pwede. Alam, o oh nga sinabi pala ni Miss Tansy. So, merong ano, uh, you will be given two uh, two big coins a day. So, one big coins is equivalent to one product title pag-generate ng one product title so you can generate two titles in a day so pwede mo rin yang gamitin kung hindi ka kung nahihirapan kang mag-create ng isang good product title pero syempre ang magiging source of your of your product titles that you are going to use there are the keywords na yung most top search most na nga top pa o yung mga frequently phrases or words na ginagamit ng mga buyers sa mga search pages. And tinuro ko yan sa mga videos natin. At isa yan sa uh, 50, 50 ways or features that we can uh, use to drive sales to our stores by getting the high traffic keywords and putting them in your product titles. Okay? So... Pwede mong gawin yan so, so para maging maganda rin yung hindi ka na mahirapang mag-brainstorm pa on what product title are you going to use. Ano pa ba ang pwede natin gamitin doon kung tayo nagsisimula pa lang? Pwede kayo mag-suggest. Uh, yung mga ano, print, uh, yung pick list. Okay? Sa pick list, makikita mo ano yung mga kailangan stocks na kailangan mong i-provide. Lalo na kung may warehouse ka, ano yung dapat na lang i-provide ka para... Um, at antimano may may ano ka na um, na forecast mo ano yung kailangan mong stocks na dapat mong i-provide or ipasupply para ma-fulfill mo yung mga orders dun sa store mo. At yun ang mga kadalasan ginagamit ko din sa big seller para nakikita namin kung ano yung mga kailangan para ma-fulfill yung isang araw na mga orders or let's say ang target namin is 500 orders. Ang ginagawa namin, eh, ang ginagawa ko pala kasi ako yung nagpo-provide sa kanila ng ganun is nagpi-picklist ako. Ah, the maximum is 300 pala. Sorry, 300. So, nagpi-picklist ako niyan and then lumalabas doon ano yung mga kailangan para ma-fulfill yung 300 orders doon sa isang store um, in a day. Yung yung ano, yung mga kailangan para hindi na hahanapin kung saan pakukunin. So, magandang tulong din yung big seller pagdating sa ganong bagay. Okay? So, ngayon, kung meron pa kayo mga questions, kahit outside big seller, no, uh, related na sa Shopee and Lazada, kung kaya kong sagutin, mag-Q&A mag tayo, sasagutin ko po. Okay? You can ask questions na anything, isa-isain ko, sasagutin ko po. So, Coach, siguro... ako po may tanong. Ah, wait lang po. Ah, sige, sige, kamo na. Sige, sige, kamo na. Sige. Pwede na. Pwede na, Coach. Apo, ah, sige, sige. Ano Sino, po? Anong pagka... name nila, ma'am? Po? Eh, ako anong po name? si Eler Eleria po. Galing po ako sa free na batch. Five. Ah, okay, okay. Anong Apo. group? Ah, five po yata, coach. Ah, group five. Okay, ma'am. Sige Apo. po. Um, coach, kapag ka nag-start ka pa lang, yung bagong store, di ba po medyo mahalaga kasi yung reviews? Parang isa siya sa basis ng mga buyers kung bibili siya sa store mo. Paano ka, coach, makakahatak ng buyers kung uh, newly opened lang yung store mo tapos wala pang mga reviews? Okay, good questions, no? Um, alam nyo, ma'am, okay, hindi lang naman ako, maraming mga sellers na nagsimula na walang reviews talaga. Okay? So, ano yung ginawa namin para magkaroon kami ng reviews? Number one, kailangan magkaroon ka ng sales. Okay? That is the, the main goal para magkaroon tayo ng reviews to get a sale. So paano ka magkakaroon ng sales? Number one, okay, babalik na naman ako. <laughs> Tatawa na ako. Babalik na naman ako. Ba uh, simulan natin sa product optimization. 
Okay? Kailangan maayos yung product title ulit, maayos yung photos natin, magandang setup ng description, kung Loriket, kung Lazada yan, and then attractive pricing. Why? Bakit yun ang sinasuggest ko muna to get sales? Because etong limang bagay na to, sila yung makakapag-catch. Okay? Sila yung mga bait mo. Okay? Sila yung mga pwede mong gamitin para makapag-attract ka ng mga buyers. Okay? Pag na-attract mo sila doon, automatically, they can be converted into sales. Okay? Pag na-convert sila into sales, magandang service, magandang produkto, ship on time, satisfied sila, okay, automatically, pwede silang mag-post ng review sa'yo. Okay? Paano mo sila mapapag-post ng review? Kasi there are some buyers na hindi nagre-review. Mag-provide ka ng conversion to them. Okay? Pwede mong mag-provide ka ng exchange. Okay? You can exchange voucher to them so that they will post a review. Or minsan kusa na lang sila nagpo-post ng review. Or you can message them. Okay? How's the, how's the product? Diba? Diba? Ask, do not ask them to uh, do not ask them to post a review. Huwag niyo silang uutusan. Tanungin niyo lang sila kamusta yung produkto. Ngayon, if it is a good uh, feedback, that's the time kasi parang hindi mo naman sila pinili. That's the time. Ma'am, is it okay na ma, 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 na i-post natin ito as a good product review or product rating doon sa product page natin. So, ganun lang. So ganun lang para ma, para lang ma-convert ma, ma, ma natin sila into a review. Huwag kayong masyadong ano, huwag kayong masyadong pressured or worried about product reviews. Yang mga product reviews, I understand lahat, naiintindihan ko kung 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 ano yung gusto niyong mangyari kasi diyan din yung na feel ko noon. Pressured ako na yung mga competitors ko may mga product reviews and then I I'm, I'm been dreaming dreaming or ginugol ko na sana ako din may ganyang kadaming reviews. Pero mahirap kasi kung ganun lang yung ganun ang gagawin natin without doing anything. Okay? So number one, palakasin mo ang benta mo. 'Di ba? So pag malakas ang pag napapalakas mo ang benta mo by paano paano palalakasin ang benta? For sure yan ay tatanungin niyo sa akin. Okay? Apply three basic steps. Product optimization, drive traffic to your store, and then create conversion. With that three cycle, dun sa cycle na yon, okay, habang tumatakbo yung tatlong cycle na yun, unti-unti, hindi mo na nanonotice dumadami ang product reviews and dumadami yung, uh, yung benta po ninyo. So, ang kailangan dito, patience lang, magtsatsaga lang tayo kasi hindi naman ito nakukuha ng overnight. And, and take note, hindi ang buyer ay hindi basta-basta tumitingin lang doon sa product reviews. Kasi why? Hindi mo makukuha, yeah, ito ha, hindi ka makakakuha ng buyer. Ay, ang buyer kasi, ang unang nakikita nila dyan sa produkto mo are not the reviews. Tandaan nyo, hindi reviews ang unang tinitingnan nila. Hindi yung reviews ang unang nakikita nila. Sa search page po, okay, ulitin ko ha, sa search page or sa home page ng Shopee and Lazada, tatlo ang nakikita doon ni buyer. Number one, title. Paulit-ulit lang ako. Pangalawa, yung picture ng produkto mo. Pangatlo, yung price mo. Yung tatlong yan, yan ang unang nakikita ni buyer, hindi yung reviews mo. Tandaan yan. Yes, there are some, there are some products or there are some items or na may mga units sold na or may mga, may mga star reviews na. Pero minsan hindi nagmamatter yan sa buyer. Okay? Ang nagmamatter sa buyer is papaano mo maipo-provide sa kanya yung information that this product, okay, itong produkto na to ang makakapagbigay ng needs, wants or benefits and uh, ito mga benefits and features na to ay makaka ng hinahanap mo as a buyer, di ba? So ganun lang ka simple, ganun lang ka simple para makapag-convert ka ng isang sales So kahapon nga nagkaroon kami ng ano uh, may session kami ng masterclass kahapon. So isa sa isa sa ano isa sa senior ng isa naming kasamahan is that ang sabi niya we are not just um, building a store. Okay? Dapat ang goal natin 
ang goal natin kapag tayo ay nasa Shopee and Lazada is to build integrity at the same time create a good uh, kumbaga yung yung store mo ay makapag-build ng trust. Okay? Take note of the word trust na mapagkatiwalaan ni buyer yung produkto mo. Okay? Kapag makapag-build ka ng trust, okay, nakuha mo si buyer sa ganoon, it can be converted into sales again. Ang sabi nga, okay, mas uh, kapag nakabuild ka ng trust, that uh, that process is the best uh, converting tools that you can use to convert sales without looking first sa mga product reviews po. So do not be pressured, do not be conscious about product reviews. Lahat ng sellers nagsimula ng zero reviews. Okay? So kung kami nagkaroon ng ng uh, nakapag-build kami ng store without any or nakapag-build kami ng mga products, nakapagpasabog kami ng mga products without um without uh, nag-start kami ng zero reviews, zero units sold, ibig sabihin ganun din kayo. Okay? Para para tayo ng pagdadaanan, walang shortcut po 'yan. And take note, kapag gumagawa tayo ng shortcut, okay, ang tendency niyan is baka magkaroon tayo ng problema sa huli. So, binibigyan ko na kayo ng advice. So, iwasan na natin yung gumagawa ng mga fake reviews, fake buys, di ba? Sa tinatawag or mga fake sold na tinatawag. Kasi ang sino-shortcut mo dyan is the deletion of your store, suspension of your store, or banning of your store. Okay? So, gawin na lang natin sa tama po sa simula. Sana nasagot ko yung question mo, Mama. Thank you po. Next. Thank you po. Thank you po, Coach. Question po, yung push inventory po, hindi nagwo-work pag may two-star, for example. I'm sorry, MR, no? Uh, sana tinanong mo yan kay ano, Ma'am Tansi. Kasi uh, pagdating sa big seller, very minimal lang yung aking knowledge. Okay, so ano ba to? Sa big seller ba yung uh, no, question mo? Yes po. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry ma'am kasi medyo mababaw lang aking knowledge when it comes to big sellers. Why I invited Ma'am Tansi to to provide the information about the about big seller. But anyway, I'll get back to you. Uh, mm -hmm. siguro anong group ka ma'am? Uh, new batch lang din po sa parang uh, sa batch 5. I'll, oh, get batch, back, oh. I'll, I'll get back to you. Siguro ako sa uh, I'll ask Ma'am Tansi or si Nick Yang about it so that um makapag-provide din ako ng information about about that. Okay, ma'am? Ngayon ko lang din po nalaman niya. Kaya yun, baka may okay, knowledge po. ka din po. Mm -mm. Thank you po. Thank you. Saan po yung sinasabi nyo na print customize po? Uh, Doon yung sa may ano eh. Sa may... <laughs> Dapat tinanong nyo kay ano eh, kay Tansi. <laughs> so, yung sa print customize, uh, balikan ko kayo dyan. <laughs> balikan ko kayo dyan. Uh, dyan sa print customize, parang under print way billion din. Pupunta ka sa settings doon. And then pagpunta mo, teka lang ha. Para alam ko, may alam ko yung tinataha ko. Okay? Do double check ko lang para sigurado ako. So pupunta ka sa bulk print and then click mo print settings. Okay? Then pagpunta mo sa print settings, pupunta ka sa ship label printing. Ah, mali ako. Ayan, nalito na ako. Tama. Double check ko ah. Ayan, okay, okay. Uh, Nag-gets ko na. Processing orders. Go to orders, then processing orders. Tapos, puta ka sa bulk print. Then, meron dun choices, drop down menu. Then, go to print settings. Then, go to ship, <coughs> go to print settings. And then, shipping label printing. And then, sa ilalim, may makikita kang step for customizing shipping label. So, pakita ko nga. Double check ko ah. So, ito yon So, i-click mo lang ito. Go to settings. I hope tama ako. And then, kunyari shipping methods for Lazada. And then, hanapin mo dito yung Lex. Saan ang Lex dito? Ito, delivered by seller. 
double check ko ha. I don't know, Philippines. And then ito, uh, Lazada, Lex, PH. And then ito, edit. And then change st uh, ch uh, standard shipping label. Click mo change. And then meron yan mga customized shipping label. Ayan o, oh, as you can see, like that one. So pili ka lang dyan. <coughs> And then pwede ka mag-create ng label note. No. Sample lang. Ganyan. And then, ayun. Saan yun? Lumabas. Label note. And then yan. Ito siya. So, explore nyo na lang kung papaano. And then, uh, usually, no, uh, you have to manage the space dito. Kasi sometimes, nyari, tanggalin mo tong product picture. Because sometimes kapag lumagpas siya dito sa space ng waybill, okay, ang tendency is magse-second page siya. So, i-manage nyo po 'yan yung yung space dito. So, nasa sa inyo ko paano nyo aayusin, okay? Or aayusin yung ano dito. So, 'yan. Okay? Dito sa customize. So, ito usually dito eh, customize shipping label. <coughs> okay? So, 'yan. I-explore nyo na lang po kung paano siya ano dito. Kasi currently hindi ako gumagamit nito. Okay, next question. Oh, ayun na, waybill settings. May nagturo na. Saan po nakukuha yung top keywords? Ma'am Marga, please ano, uh, balik kayo doon sa mga pinned videos natin doon sa group chat natin. Andun po lahat, andun yung uh, three basic steps na ano, ito ah, or you can go to, to to my YouTube channel. Okay, andito lahat yung mga videos, okay? 50 ways paano ang paraan paano makabenta sa Shopee, how to use big seller, integrate your Lazada, may ito eh, ito yung uh, unang tutorial ni Miss Tansy. And then ito, create massive traffic. And then andito naman three proven and effective basic steps, andito yung how to get keywords. Okay, dito rin, meron din yan dito. Okay, meron din yan dito sa baba. Bakit hindi ako makabenta? Grow your sales in one week. Andyan yung mga video na yan on how to get yung tinatawag na mga top keywords. Okay? So, may mga free tutorials ako dyan. Yung mga possible na pwede mong pagkuhaan ng mga top keywords po. Okay? Meron yan eh. Andito yan. Isa-isa inyo lang po itong mga video na ito. Okay? Next. If i-edit ang SKU code ng isang optimized product na magbabak to zero, in, um, as far as I remember and based on my experience, kung babagoy mo lang yung SKU code, walang problema. Kung babagoy mo yung variation name, walang problema. Pero kung babaguhin mo yung price, may problema ka doon. Or kung i-delete mo yung SKU mismo or yung variation, may problema ka din doon. Okay? So, yun lang ang iiwasan ninyo para hindi mag- Uh, back to zero yung product ninyo. So, iwasan yung i-delete yung SKU. Kasi minsan, ang SKU is based on the variation or the SKU inside the product listing. So, isa doon na tanggalin mo, isa i-delete mo, isa baguhin mo doon, okay? Baguhin mo ang presyo, magkakaroon ng, ano yun, ng, ng changes when it comes to optimization. Okay? Lalo na kung itataas mo yung presyo, uh, magkakaproblema ka doon. Pero kung pababa ang presyo, walang problema. Pabor kay Lazada yon, Okay? Permission to leave. Say, uh, sige po, Sir Doy, thank you po. Any more questions? May question pa ba? Sige na, samantalayin na natin. Hanggat nakalive pa tayo. Tanong lang ng tanong. Walang nagtatanong. <clears throat> o oh, sige, ito na lang. Ex uh, explain ko sa inyo yung ano, explain ko sa inyo yung mga bawat video ha. So kung hindi nyo makita yung video o hindi nyo ma-access yung pin video or mga pin message sa 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 GC natin or sa uh, media files and links, 
I-search nyo lang ito, Kram Daddy. Hanapin nyo yung poging thumbnail. Okay? And then, eto, yung, kung ano yung nandito sa YouTube channel na ito, eto rin yung, uh, eto rin yung nandyan sa pin message. So, these are the compilation of videos na naging, uh, yung mga nag-previous sessions namin, yung mga free sessions namin sa, sa ano, sa, sa basic. Okay? So, I'll give you uh, an example. Let's example ito. Dito, pinapakita yung 50 proven na paraan para makabenta sa Shopee and Lazada. So, 50 ways yan. Actually, 53 yan. But the original is 70. Okay? Yung 20, nasa advanced class. Kung paano maka makabenta sa Shopee and Lazada. Pero itong 50 na ito, okay, magagamit mo yan. They're, they are all accessible to your seller center. Okay, uh, bigyan ko yung example ha. Pakita ko sa inyo. Click natin. <clears throat> Para may idea kayo, asa yung notepad dito. So nakikita nyo yung notepad. Ayan, andito lahat yung mga possible na pwede nyo pagkuhaan or makapag-generate po kayo ng benta. Okay? So, subukan nyo po yan, okay? Huwag po tayo maghanap ng iba kasi lahat po ay, lahat ng kailangan natin para makabenta ay nasa seller center po natin talaga. Yun lang ang masasabi ko po doon, okay? Next, ito yung ano, pinaka, ah, hindi, ito yung previous lesson about uh, yung kay Ma'am Tansi doon sa big seller. And then, ito naman yung how to create. So, isa sa mga problema na, na isa sa mga problema natin, paano magkakaroon ng traffic? Kasi ang problema natin, paano tayo magkakaroon ng benta, right? So, paano ka magkakabenta? Drive traffic to your Shopee and Lazada store. Kapag ang visitor mo, 10, 20, 50, 100 everyday, I don't think magkakabenta ka ng malaki. So, paano mo mapaparami yon? Andito lahat yung mga possible traffic generator na pwede mong gamitin para makapag magkaroon ng traffic yung products mo. Okay? Ito naman yung basic legendary method. This is the part 5 dito sa ilalim. Okay? Dito, ina-explain. Dito din pinakita yung isa sa mga highlight na mga masterclass na pang 15,000 to 30,000. Yung tinatawag na alay method. So, that is a sacrificial pricing, one way of optimizing your item. Itinuturo po yan dito. Libre po. Panoorin nyo. Okay? So kung ayun naman panoorin, bayad kayo 15,000, 30,000, doon po ituturo, doon ituturo ng iba. Pero dito, libre. Okay? Tandaan nyo, libre nyo makukuha yung information na yan. Next, ito yung pinakasikat, yung three proven and effective basic step on how to boost your Shopee. So hinimay-himay dito yung uh, step one, product optimization, step two, driving traffic, and then step three, creating conversion. Ito yung uh, sinimplify namin. Okay, sinimplify namin yung ano, yung yung process kung paano ka magkakaroon ng benta or how to boost your Shopee and Lazada store or to get your first sale. And actually sa sa masterclass sa advance, okay, etong uh, etong three basic step na to ay uh, inexpand, okay? Pinoy to point, detail to detail. Kaya mga uh, kaya pag ano yung day one, yung ano namin yung step one namin okay yung diniskas namin yung step one, inabot yan ng 5 to 6 days imagine 5 to 6 days inabot ang step one. eh ang dali-dali lang naman actually di ba title photos description loricit and pricing strategy so uh, dito sinimplify namin or sinamarize namin yung ano yung yung step na yon and ma-apply ma nyo ito sa inyong mga store okay three basic step yan lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo and then ito paano mag-join sa mga marketing campaigns yung mga paano yung paano mo pabibilisin yung pag-join ng campaign para hindi ka na magma-manual manual pa or magpipindot pindot and then this is the mod bonus module kung nagti-TikTok ka paano mo mapapadami yung benta mo sa TikTok without posting any videos okay creating Ano ben, uh, posting any videos, hindi ka nagla-live. All you need to do is paramihin mo yung mga affiliates mo. So, at dito yan yung tutorial na yan. And then, yung duplicating your Shopee and Lazada. In just one minute, this is the copy listing of big seller. Okay? And then, free shipping setup. Ayan, uh, yung may nagtatanong, yung gusto kagad mag-ads, andito po. Okay? 
Andito yung tutorial, papaano yung basic setup of Shopee and Lazada ads. In the same time, um, basic uh, na pagbasa ng ating mga business advisors and knowing your competitors. Yung papaano tayo makakapag-adapt sa ating mga competitors. Okay? And then, ano pa ba? Um, eto, uh, ano yan eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Magkakadugtong itong mga videos. Isa-isayin nyo na lang po. And then, eto yung isa pa din sa mga pinakasikat na video ko is the bakit hindi ako makabenta. So, sa mga hindi nakakabenta, yung mga sumabog ang store pero hindi, hindi na sustain. Yung nagwa 1 million uh, a month, ngayon 1,000 a month na lang. <laughs> diba? So, ito yung video na yon, ito yung sasagot doon sa naging problema nyo. Bakit ano, bakit uh, hindi kayo makabenta or ano nangyari sa store ninyo? Bakit biglang bumagsak ang kanyang benta? So, isa-isay natin tong mga video na ito. And this video, etong session natin is also recorded and will be uploaded doon sa 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 group chat natin para ano, para ma mabalikan nyo etong naging session po. natin. Okay? Kailan na next session? Uh, no definite time. Kasi, tandaan, tapusin nyo muna yung mga video bago tayo mag-ano, bago tayo mag-ano, bago tayo mag-provide ng additional session. Okay? Kasi doon sa mga video na yan, kahit yung three basic step na lang yan, yan na magiging, uh, yan na possible. Possible makasolve na mga problema natin paano tayo makakabenta. And kung duda kayo dun sa video na yon, you can check my profile. Okay, yung aking, uh, tawag dun, yung aking wall. Andon yung mga feedbacks, mapa free, mapa paid masterclass. Andon yung mga andon yung mga feedbacks na nagwo-work sa kanila yung mga video ko. Okay? So, Uh, apply muna natin yung mga natuto, yung mga tutorials na yan before we proceed with the next sessions, okay? Pwede po ba coach na ilipat yung mga slow moving items sa fast moving? Anong intention niyo po doon? Papaano? Same store po ba ito? Kung slow moving yan, possible, ano yan, high ticket, tama? Or, kasi when you, pay, when you say fast moving, okay, ibig sabihin yan, uh, that is uh, maybe around one, less than 200 pesos or 100 to 150 yung mga item na yan. Kaya tinawag na fast moving. Kung sinabing high ticket, ito yung mga high valuable items na nagre ng 500 pataas. But sometimes yung mga 200 in above uh, considered na yun as a high ticket item. Eh. So pag sinabing fast moving, kailangan maglalagay lang tayo doon ng enough margin na we think na tayo kikita and at the same time, ito ay magja-generate ng sales because of the price that we posted. Okay? So that's what you call fast moving. Idagdag ko na rin, when you say sacrificial pricing, you are sacrificing your profit margin. so that we can penetrate our products sa marketplace, magkaroon ng, ng awareness, and at the same time, makabust tayo ng optimization. Okay, when you say sacrificing, hindi yan yung nagpa-price ka ng negative. Okay, possible lang na magbaba ka ng konting margin para lang, uh, para kahit papano is magkaroon ng movement yung product. Bakit kailangan mo yun sa store mo minsan? Kasi minsan, Kapag meron tayo mga products na na nagde-generate ng traffic, okay? Sila yung nagiging pinto mo, sila yung nagiging opening mo para yung mga visitors mo or mga buyers mo makapasok sa loob ng store mo at ma-explore yung mga iba pong iba mo pang mga products. So we need to use this uh, this uh, this type of strategy para magkaroon tayo ng uh, at the same time magkaroon ng mga traffic leads or traffic generators. which is isa yan sa mga strategies ko sa mga stores ko kung bakit nasusustain ko yung traffic ng mga items ko. At ito yung isineshare ko din sa inyo na pwede nyo gamitin o i-adapt sa mga stores nyo. So, meron ako mga sacrificial, meron ako mga fast moving, and then meron ako mga one-time big time. And because of the sacrificial or traffic genera generator items or products, okay, nakakapag-ano ako, nakakapag- 
Tawag doon, nagkakaroon ako ng... Hindi ko kasi mapakita yung notepad ko. Uh, nagkakaroon ako ng awareness. Okay? Uh, product awareness sa iba pang mga buyers. And na... na ano, tawag doon? na explore yung iba kong mga produkto inside my store. So may mga strategies kami uh, may mga strategies na ginagawa diyan. Okay? Ah uh, doon sa advance tinuturo ko 'yan yung paano mo paano mo mapapa benta ang isang bagong item, okay? Yung isang bagong item lang nakakagawa lang and then ang gagamitin natin is yung yung isang item na mabenta. So pagsasamalan pag pagsasamantalaan natin yung high traffic item and traffic uh, sales generate generator item para bumenta yung mga new items natin. So tinuturo ko po 'yan sa 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 advance natin, okay? But you can apply the three basic step para din para makabenta po kayo. Okay? Sa so, masterclass po ba araw-araw yung session na yon sunod-sunod or tuwing kailan po pag hindi. Ang masterclass po namin is during Monday. Wednesday and Friday only. Okay? Kasi, and then, ang sessions niya is nag- um, Right now, no, nasa 12, uh, pang, pang 12 session na kami. Although, tapos, uh, almost, uh, ang, ang batch 6 is, uh, siguro, mga around 98% tapos na ang batch 6. So, siguro, follow-up session na lang kami para sa mga concerns and mga troubleshoots, di ba? And then yun nga, papasok na kasi ang batch 7 bukas. Okay? But the the good thing about uh, sa master class ko po is that you have free access sa sa next batch. So pwede mong ulit-ulitin. Kung if you are batch 7, pwede ka pwede ka pa ring umattend ng batch 8, batch 9, batch 10, batch 11 hanggang sa makuha mo yung proseso ng pagbebenta dito sa Shopee and Lazada. Okay? So the schedule is during Monday. Wednesday and Friday that is uh, 8 p.m. and sometimes uh, and pero expect na minsan na adjust ng konti. So sometimes nakakapag-start na mga uh, before 9 or mga 9 o'clock or 8:30 basta in between 8 to 9. Okay, so ganun nag-start yung katulad nito, etong session na to, parang ganun din yung schedule sa master class. Okay? So yung batch 6 inaabot ng 12 sessions. And each session is around 2 to 3 hours. Yung kahapon parang inabot ata ng 4 hours. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. So parang ganon. So yun. Pero hindi ko sinasabi na ang solution ay nasa master class. Nasa 3 basic step po talaga. Sinasabi ko sa inyo. Maniwala po kayo. Kung may SKU ka na wala na talaga makuwang stock, mas okay ba hayaan na lang out of stock kaya kesa i-delete yung SKU. So may advice there, number one, consider mo, moving pa ba? May traffic pa ba yung item? Bumibenta pa ba yung item? If the item is not moving anymore and the item is not generating sales anymore, so that's the time you, de uh, you delete the SKU. Pero if the item, ano, ano ba yan? Parang nagtuturo na ako ng advance. If the item is so sige sasagutin natin okay if the item is uh, if the item is not if the item still generating sales nagje-generate pa rin siya ng traffic okay ang pwede mong gawin diyan is palitan mo yung variation niya okay you change the variation type was in i overhaul mo yung item yung ano mo but make sure yung ipapalit mo doon is related ang gandun lang ako ha Ang pwede mong ipalit, uh, ang pwede mong ipalit doon is same category item and then related to that item. And then, mawawala na talaga yung item niyan if that item is out of stock. So, kunyari, example, ubus na yung papaya soap, wala ka na makuha ng papaya soap, palitan mo yung papaya soap, gawin mong kojik soap. So, ganun lang, kasimple. So, I hope you get my idea there. You just have to change the variation name and then the product type. And then sundutin mo sa traffic. Paano po makasali sa advanced class po? Uh, message nyo po ako ma'am sa, sa ano, sa regarding sa pag-enroll sa advanced class. One-time payment ba yun? Yes, it is a one-time payment but it is a lifetime um, learnings and support. And then uh, maraming pwedeng makapag-ano dyan. Tingnan ko ako may mga advanced dito. 
Maraming pwedeng makapag ano, makapag uh, share about my masterclass yung mga nandito. Uh, they can tell you kung ano yung experience nila about sa mga masterclass na yan. Okay? May question pa po ba? Shopee, Lazada. Para masagot na natin. Ano po ba mga problema natin sa mga stores natin? Ayan, may comment na. Hindi ko na lang ipo. Hindi ko na lang paano yun na. Ayan, meron si Sir Kenny. So, ayan, meron naman siyang feedback. And you can check my walls. Okay? You can check my walls. You can check the, the feedbacks here sa chat para makita nyo kung ano yung masterclass. So, kung nung nanggaling na kayo sa ibang masterclass, Okay, uh, hindi ko ipapa-feel sa inyo na you are in the same master class. Yun lang, yun lang pwede kong pwedeng ano, yun lang pwede kong sabihin sa inyo. Okay? So, ano ang pinagkaiba ng preferred my store audit po ba? Yes, may store audit ako. Kahit nga sa free nag-store audit ako. Kapag sinisipag ako, yung may mga nagse-send ng mga store link, okay? Pag malawak, hindi ibig sabihin sinisipag ako kasi basta sabihin niyo tinatamad ako sometimes. <laughs> Kapag malawak ang time ko, okay, naglalaan talaga ako diyan, iniisa-isa ko, sinasagot ko isa-isa yung mga store audits. Kahit free or nasa master class, walang ano exemption sa akin, okay? Anong pinagkaiba ng preferred seller and Shopee Mall? Sa preferred seller po, it is a ano eh, um, it is a ano ba tawag doon? Parang kung aware kayo, kung aware kayo sa Mobile Legends, kung nagmo-Mobile Legends yung iba dito. Meron tayo tawag na Grandmaster, may ginatawag na Elite, may tinatawag na Legends, and uh, Mythical Glory. So parang ganun lang din. Parang, parang lang din siyang game na kailangan mong mag-level up. Okay? So kapag nagle-level up ka, every time na nagle-level up ka sa games, di ba, nag may mga na-unlock kang mga features. Okay? Kapag may na-unlock kang mga features, uh, kapag nasa isang game ka, Unti-unting lumalakas, okay? Nagkakaroon ka ng mga additional powers, additional tools, additional equipments, di ba? Para sa laban mo sa isang game. So parang ganun ang preferred seller. You need to, um, ang tawag doon, i-level up mo or ipasa mo lahat ng mga metrics mo. Okay, ano yung mga metrics na yon? Chat response, number of order sales, yung, yung mga review ratings mo. Ano pa ba? Yung mga ship on time mo, mga fulfillment rate mo, you have to pass those uh, ratings. Kapag na-pass mo yon, you will be given a badge of preferred seller. Ang preferred seller is a, a tool para magkaroon ka ng magandang conversion. Kasi why? Kapag if you are a preferred seller, okay, nabibuild mo yung trust rating mo or nagkakaroon ka ng, um, ang ba tawag doon? Uh, mas nagkakaroon ng trust sa'yo ang seller kapag nakikita nila that you are a preferred seller at may preferred seller batch it applies also for being a last stop seller ganun din sa Lazada ang tawag naman last stop seller so kapag nagaano ka kapag habang tumatagal sa journey mo sa Lazada at na, na napapas mo yung mga ratings na ito okay you will be given a badge of last stop seller and then maraming perks of being a last stop seller Okay, yung perks ng mga last stop seller is merong mga ano, meron yung mga invitations, mga campaign invitations, promotions, marketings, anything that can boost your store. At kapag nabubus ang store mo, nabubus din ang sales mo, tanda mo. Mas nag improve yung traffic, nag mas nag improve yung number of visitors going inside your store. At the same time, nabubus yung guided traffic. Okay, tandaan nyo yan, magmamarka yan sa utak nyo. Pag sinabing di guided traffic, ito yung magiging focus nyo dito sa uh, sa journey nyo sa Shopee and Lazada. Kailangan ma-improve nyo or ma-attract nyo yung platform guided traffic. So ano ba yung guided traffic na tinatawag na yan? These are what you call the algorithm or the recommendation engine. Paano ma-attract yung recommendation engine na yan? Or paano mo ma-attract yung guided traffic na yan? By applying three basic steps. Ibabalik ko lang kayo sa three basic step na yan. 
So kung ayaw niyo gawin tong 3 basic step na to, wag na kayong magbenta sa Shopee and Lazada. Kasi hindi kayo makakabenta hangga't hindi kayo dumadaan sa 3 basic step kasi ito yung kinakailangan mo para makabenta ka. Okay? Whether you believe it or not, dadaan ka doon sa 3 basic step na yan. Hindi ko maiisip kung saan mo kukunin yung methods or ways para makabenta ka without applying the three basic step. And uh, yun nga, sabi ko, well, by applying the three basic step, nag improve ang metrics mo, na-unlock yung mga features habang tumatagal, okay, nakikilala ka, nagkakaroon ka ng recognition by the guided traffic, mas nagiging priority ka na ni Shopee and Lazada para, para ano, da, tama na daw, dami ko na daw na i-spill. <laughs> Teka lang, tapusin na natin, baka mabitin. So maraming ano, maraming ayan nakalimutan ko. So maraming <laughs> nakalimutan, nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> Nasaan na ako? Pakay ulit, paulit. Saan ba ako kanina? Ayo. Ah, oh, basta 'yon. Ah, ano daw yung three basic step? Number one, product optimization. Ano meron do sa product optimization? Uh, andun yung uh, generating product titles, uh, pag-create ng good product title. Step 1 muna, andun yung paggawa ng eye-catching photos, thumbnails. And then, hindi, hindi po ito masterclass, free basic pa rin tayo. And then number 3, paggawa ng high traffic keywords sa description. At the same time, text and image sa lorry kit, that's number 4. Paano mo mapapagan paano mo mapaiaayusin mapa yung buong product page mo para magkaroon ng makapag-build ng trust sa buyer that this product is a legitimate posting or a legitimate product page hindi yung meme post tinan niyo yung mga product pages niyo ba may pinicturean niyo lang yan sa ilalim ng ng punda di ba mali yun hindi yun bebenta o pwede bumenta but the, the trust that you are going to build or create malabo i don't think so And then last one, number five sa step one is yung uh, pricing strategy. Pricing strategy is another eye, uh, pang eye catch ng mga buyers mo. So these are all your baits. Ito yung mga pang, pangkuha mo ng mga visitor mo, pang attract ng mga buyers mo. It's just parang nagpapagawa ka ng isang bahay, kailangan pagandahin mo ang isang bahay para mapansin ng mga tao, di ba? Parang mukha mo lang yan. Nagme-make up ka para mapansin ka ng mga tao or magandahan ka, magandahan sa iyo mga tao. Pag hindi magandang make up, hindi ka papansinin. Pag magandang make up, papansinin ka sa sabi, uy, maganda to. Nakukuha niyo po yun. Nakukuha niyo yung point doon. And then, pag may, oh, syempre, kapag nag-aral tayong mabuti, may laman ng ating, may mga knowledge tayo, di ba? Smart tayo. So, ibig sabihin, ay, may laman, di ba? So, parang ganun. Nakaka-build ka ng trust doon sa buyer mo. So that is the step one. Step two, di ba? Step two, kahit anong ganda ng makeup mo, kung nasa bahay ka lang, walang makakakita sa iyo. Tama? Tama po ba? Pasagot nga. Hello. Para malaman kung active pa't nakikinig. Pag nag-makeup ka at nagpaganda, nagstay ka lang sa bahay mo, makikita ka ba? Hello. Ay, wala nagpa-participate. Hindi po. Yes, hindi ka makikita. Walang makakapansin sa'yo. Kasi, tinago mo yung item mo. Hindi ka visible sa lahat. Tama? Pag hindi ka visible sa lahat, walang makakapansin sa'yo, walang pupunta sa'yo. So, anong gagawin mo? You have to market your face. So, paano may ma-market? Paano may papakita? Lumabas ka. Maging visible ka sa lahat. At ano yung mga areas para maging visible ka doon? Diba? Ano mga area sa seller center para maging visible ka? Join product campaigns, di ba? And then, uh, use all the tools, yung mga pra, mga traffic generator tools do inside your, uh, inside the, the, the seller center para mapansin yung gandang ginawa mo sa produkto. Kasi kahit piso pa ipresyo mo sa produkto mo, walang papansin yan kung wala kang traffic na ginagawa. Next, number three is the... Number third step is the conversion. May traffic ka na, maganda ang produkto mo, pero hindi binibili. Bakit? Baka wala kang discount. Wala kang free shipping. Wala kang pang-increase ng basket size. ba? Diba? 
ano pa, um, walang vouchers, walang flexi combo. So those are the, the conversion tools that you can use para maklose deal mo ang isang buyer. So I want I, I will not elaborate this anymore kasi lahat ito ay nasa 3 basic step video po natin. So panoorin niyo po 'yon. So lahat doon itinuturo kung paano. And uh, if you want to know more, 'di ba? Yung talagang detail to detail, you can chat me about the master class. But right now Ang masasuggest ko as a new seller, three basic step talaga. Yun talaga ang pag-aralan po natin. Master and apply the three basic step. Diyos ko, kahit nakapikit ka, napakadaling magbenta sa Shopee and Lazada at maiiwasan mo na ang pagpo-post sa mga groups na ako lang ba walang benta? May system error ba? Sobrang tumal. Hindi mo na gagawin yun sa mga seller page. Okay? Kasi alam mo na ang sagot Kung bakit wala kang benta? Alam mo ang sagot bakit wala kang traffic? Alam mo ang sagot bakit walang bumibili sa iyo hindi ka nagko-convert ng sales? Because na master mo ang 3 basic step. So, yun lang, yun lang ang ma-share ko tonight regarding kung paano ka makakabenta dito sa Shopee and Lazada. Sa mga bumebenta na, sa mga kumikita na, sa mga lodi na diyan, sa mga halimaw na, halimaw na, halimaw na 'yan. Okay, sa mga ninja, okay, yung mga ninja dyan. So, ang suggestion, suggestion ko lang, pa kung gusto nyo, ano, if you want to increase, madouble yung sale or masustain nyo yung benta ninyo, is to apply the three basic step. Huwag tayong magre-relax. This is the best time kung sumasabo ang store natin. This is the best time na dapat tayo ay magsumikap pa, okay, or magpursige. Kasi kapag ikaw ay nag-relax, sabi nga, di ba, pag nabusog ka, ayaw mo nang umuya, ayaw mo nang kumain kasi nakontento ka na. Kaya dapat laging gutom, laging hindi ka dapat kontento kung anong meron ka. Okay? Kasi once na mag-relax ka, hindi mo mamamalayan, wala ka ng benta. So kasalanan mo yon Hindi namin kasalanan yun. Okay? Wala na bang questions? There any more? May mga questions pa po ba para masagot natin? And then yung GC natin, ginawa natin ang GC natin para makapag-interact tayo sa isa't isa, makapag-share ng mga knowledge, makapag-share ng mga experiences. Okay, hindi lang pwedeng ako yung sasagot lang din, pwedeng sumagot yung iba. Okay, so ginawa natin yung GC na yan para yung mga sasagot ay hindi maliligaw ng landas. Kasi na naawa ko sa mga nagpo-post doon sa, sa mga seller groups and then ang mga ipinifid na information ay mali-mali. So nagkakaroon ng wrong, wrong, wrong conception or misconception ang isang seller sa, sa pagbebenta sa Shopee and Lazada. And this is the purpose of the group. Para masagot ng tama yung mga questions natin and mga concerns po natin. Okay? May question pa po ba? Sir, kung Shopee may free boosting, sa Lazada po ba? Wala po. Eto po ba, sa, sa Shopee po, yes, may free boosting, may, may auto bump, pero huwag tayo mag-relax lang po doon. Ah, mag, mag-relay, relax po. Huwag tayo mag-relay lang doon sa free boosting. We can, uh, we can use yung mga product campaigns kasi yung mga products campaigns are also free booster. Okay? Mga libre po yan na makakapag-boost ng ating mga stores. Sa Lazada naman, Kung walang free boosting, meron mga marketing campaigns that you can use to boost your traffic also. And the most powerful traffic generator ng Lazada and Shopee is the product campaigns. Tandaan niyo yan. Bakit sila sinabi mo na sunog pera lang po ang Shopee ads? Yes. Nagsusunog talaga ng pera sa Shopee ads. Kasi... Um, Yung ginagastos mo doon, in exchange to that, is sales. Sometimes, 50-50 ba may? Kunyari, mag-spend ka ng 100, there's no assurance that one, yung 100 mo ay magiging 200. Baka mamaya yung 100 mo sa ads na yan ay maging zero. Uh, I hope you get my point there. And then, mahirap mag-jump sa ads kung hindi okay ang step one mo. Talaga magsusunog kayo dyan. And, I I've, I've been there sa 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 ads na yan, sa Shopee ads na yan. And I already prove even sa mga sa mga free student dito or mapa ma, masterclass or free, 
At pakita ko yan sa kanila na nung nag ads ako noon, ay pwede palang kitain kahit hindi ka naka-ads ngayon. So, kaya malakas ang loob kong sabihin na ang pag sa Shopee ads ay pagsusunog lamang ng pera. Pwede kang mag-ads, hindi ko kayo pinagbabawalang ng ads, pero may tamang pag ads At meron mga tamang produkto na dapat mong takbuhan ng ads. At may mga produkto na hindi mo dapat takbuhan ng ads. At merong tamang pagbabasa ng performance ng Shopee ads mo. Para may iwasan mo yung pagsunog ng ads mo. And at the same time, pwede kang kumita sa ads or you can optimize your your products through ads with a conservative spending. Hindi mo kinakailangan gumastos ng isang libo kada araw sa isang produkto para ma-optimize mo yung produkto or para magkaroon ka ng benta. Do not treat Shopee ads or Lazada ads ay parang Facebook ads. Malayong malayo silang dalawa. I'll repeat. Malayong malayong Facebook ads sa Shopee and Lazada ads. Ang Facebook ads po, walang algorithm, walang initiated traffic, walang guided traffic by the platform. Okay? Ang Shopee and Lazada, may initiated traffic, may guided traffic, may recommendation engine, and may algorithm. Ang tinuturo ko sa advance ko is I'm teaching, kahit sa free, ang tinuturo ko is mag-run pa ng ads to optimize the product and attract the algorithm. Kapag nag-boost yung product, sumabog ang product, product, stop ang ads, maging reliant na lang tayo sa organic traffic. Yun yung itinuturo ko. Hindi ako tumod nagtuturo na habang buhay, susunugin mo ang isang libo araw-araw para kumita tayo. Ang nangyayari kasi, yung produkto natin doon, nagiging ads dependent. If the, uh, the item is ads dependent, ang hirap na niyang ibalik. Ako nang sasabi sa inyo. Parang ma, parang ano yan eh. Parang nagte ka lang ng drugs. I'm sorry for the term ah. Parang ang nagte ng drugs, pag hindi ka nagte ng drugs, hindi ka malakas. Ganun ang produkto. Pag hindi mo sinunugan ng pera, hindi din malakas ang benta. So sana na na-picture nyo yung ibig kong sabihin doon. So, ang tinuturo ko sa pag ads is conservative. Ang tawag nga tipid method kapag nag ads ka. Okay? So, nag ads po ako noon sa new shop ko, 500 a day, nasunog lang po talaga. Haha, negative. Yes, mahirap mag ads kapag hindi mo pa naayos ang step 1 nyo. Maniwala kayo. Sige, magpustahan tayo. Gagawa ko ng step 1 ko, hindi ka gagawa ng step 1, jump tayo sa ads. Tingnan natin kung sino ang bebenta sa ating dalawa. At marirealize mo, ay, kaya pala. Ipaparealize ko po sa inyo na ito ang mga reason bakit nasunog yung ads mo. At ipapakita ko dun sa metrics ng ads nyo, ano yung naging dahilan kung bakit ito nasunog, sa ka nagkaproon ng problema, bakit hindi nag-convert, bakit walang impression, bakit walang traffic, bakit walang conversion, walang clicks, di ba? At bakit puro gastos lang? Marirealize nyo po yun. If you apply the three basic step. Importante ang three basic step. Ako lang nagsasabi sa inyo. That will be the core. Yun yung magiging core knowledge natin sa pagbebenta sa Shopee and Lazada. Yun three basic step po. Is there any more question? So, okay mga guys, sa akin kung allergic ako sa ads. Ano po ang particular metrics na dapat basahin or guide natin to stop or push the the ads? Sa ads po mismo, sa ad metrics po mismo. Makikita po natin. Please refer to ano ma'am, refer to the video. Okay? Refer to the to the video, ipinakita ko 'yan. Even do sa 50 ways to earn andun yung Shopee ads. Pinakita ko po 'yan. Question pa po. Actually, the the first metrics na pwede mong tingnan is the the ads yung the ad ano yung 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 spend and then oh sige, turo ka the spend. Ito na naman. Ang pwede mong tingnan doon kung dapat mong itigil spend and then unit sold. Ganun lang, yung dalawa. Pwedeng tatlo, spend, then the spend talaga. Yung ad spend and then the unit sold. So, sa unit sold, 
i-compute mo or I'll give you mathematics sa example, ang nagastos mo 500. And then ang ang units sold mo dun sa 500 na yon is let's say 12 units sold. Tingnan natin ha. Dun sa 12 units sold na yan, ang profit margin mo lang let's say 50. Eh di 600 yung net mo doon, right? Bawasan mo ng ads 500. Sandaan lang kinita mo doon. Tama? Baka mamaya negative pa. So, yun ang mga pwede mong tingnan. That is the basic way on how to read your metrics sa ads. Kung kumikita ka ba or hindi. Kapag sobrang taas ng ad spend at mas mataas pa siya kesa doon sa sa ano mo, doon sa GMB or doon sa gross sale mo. Pero hindi ako natingin sa gross sale eh. I always compute doon sa net net sales. So, tinitingnan ko yung unit sold. So, kung may kasikwenta kang unit sold, example, your profit margin is 30 pesos. So, may 1.5 ka doong net profit, right? Eh, paano yung nasunog mong ads? 2,000. Para makakuha ng, ng ano, ng 30, tama ba yung compute ko? 30, o oh, 50 units sold. So, negative 500 ka pa. Pero kung dun sa kinita mong 1.5, ang nagastos mo lang dun is 500 sa ads, kumita ka 1,000. Pero sunog ang 500 mo. O imagine, you're spending 500 a day. Times 30 days, that is 15,000 a month. Panghulog na yan ng isang sedan car. ba? E pwede mo naman yan ma-achieve nang hindi, hindi ka nag ads And I've been there. Gumagastos ako ng tatlong monthly ng Fortuner a day. I don't know, a, a month. Before. Magkano ang Fortuner? 35 to 40,000 a month. Ilang store yun? Tatlo. So, 120,000 a month. Imagine the, 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 the money that you're spending dahil lang dun sa ads. Pero, niloloko lang pala tayo ni Shopee. Meron naman palang platform, may, may guided traffic naman pala. We can improve our sales through organic sales. Right now, I'm not, uh, hindi, ako nag, hindi na ako nag ads ever since that I've learned na natutunan ko, natut, na, natuto na ako. Kasi akala ko noon, ah, Parang Facebook ads. The more we spend, the more we earn. Mali pala yun. Kasi yung, yung, yung ads na pwede mong i-allocate mo na lang sa ibang bagay, di ba? Kay Shopee na pupunta. O imagine magkano nawawala sa sa'yo monthly kung ang spending mo 1,000 a day. So that is 30,000 a month. O ilang ano yun? Ilang kilo ng baboy yun? Ilang sako ng bigas yun? Ilang kuryente mababayaran mo doon, di ba? Pwede na pang amortization ng sasakyan. So, although sasabihin, yes, that is for marketing. Eh, may marketing, may free marketing si Shopee and Lazada, di ba? Bakit, bakit pa tayo mag ads right? So, yun lang. Yun lang po yung masasagot ko po doon. May question pa po ba? Wala na? Wala na. Okay, so if you have meron pa kayong mga questions po, so feel feel yes. Yes po. Ah, wala. Okay, so kung meron mga concerns, may mga ano po, may mga ano, may mga tayong mga problema, so feel free to message me, feel free to post it in the sa GC natin. Okay, sasagot po ako doon, wala walang problema. Okay? Uh, as long as um, available ako, sasagot ako at sasagot. Okay? I'm here para i-assist kayo, para i-guide kayo. Free man or, or paid master class, equal ang uh, equal ang approach ko po sa inyong lahat. Wala, walang exemption po doon. And then at the same time, ito lang ang request ko sa inyo. Uh, uh, master and apply the three basic steps. Yan lang ang maaaring maipamana ko sa inyong lahat. Yung three basic step na yan. Ano mat mangyari, yan ang magiging pundasyon mo dito sa Shopee and Lazada po. And maniwala kayo, eto mga tutorials na to ay binabayaran pa ng ibang mga student ng 15 to 60,000 sa isang masterclass. Pero dito, nilabas ko ng libre yung mga video na yan. So, Ano yan, yan pa 
i-treasure niyo yan yung mga learn ay yung mga tutorials na yan and then bigyan niyo po ng value. Okay? Sa master class ba one on one by batch yun ma'am parang ganito lang din yung master class. Parang isang Zoom with ano with a members and then ganito din Q&A then ako yung nag-aano ako yung nagla-live demonstration. Ganito, parang ganito lang din yung setup ng master class natin. And then um you are free to ano uh, to message me store audits ask for my guidance ask for my assistance ah uh, kung meron kayong mga hindi may mga process na hindi nyo hindi nyo maintindihan or hindi nyo magets pwede nyo itanong sa akin sasagutin ko po yan okay and then store audits yon ano yung mga possible na pwede nyo gawin sa mga store nyo okay may question pa ba Mukhang wala na naman siguro, no? Wala na. Wala na. So, thank you so much for your time. Thank you sa attendance po ninyo. Okay, salamat sa pag-participate dito. And then, um, yun nga, um, wag, wag, ano, wag mawawalan ng wag paghihidaan ng loob, okay? Yung mga struggles na yan or yung mga failures na yan, okay lang yan, okay? Wag nyong masyadong iiyakan, wag nyong masyadong didibdibin. Okay, lahat tayo, lahat kami, lahat tayo niyan, lahat po tayo nagdadaan sa ganyan. Okay, walang perfect na success na bukas, okay na, walang problema. Even kami may mga pinagdadaanan din kami, hindi kami mga perfect na mga tao, pantay-pantay lang din tayo. Okay? Uh, may mga struggles din po ako at may mga struggles din po yung iba. Okay, but hindi yun ang magiging dahilan para tumigil tayo sa pag-aaral and alamin at i-explore ano pa yung pwede nating i-adapt sa ating sa ating mga store para matulungan nating ma-boost yung mga stores po natin okay prayers ko is lahat tayo maging successful dito sa mga platform na ito at yun nga um, maging consistent be patient okay at wag kalimutang magdasal apply three basic step product optimization drive traffic to your store create conversion Be consistent and magkaroon ng mahabang patience. Okay? True patience, hindi mo na lang yan mamamalayan. Okay, na ano, andun ka na pala doon sa goal na gusto mo. Yung TikTok, ma, me, meron tayo dyan sa YouTube po. Meron tayong, tra meron tayong ano dyan, video sa TikTok. Okay? So that's it for tonight. It's already 11. Time check, 11.26. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Good night everyone. Goodbye.